Hello? Oh, lovely. Yep. So this is Jamie Wayne? Yeah, this looks like a button lovely. check. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, I have no idea which one might be which. <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb and say that Jammy is red, because I've seen him play red a lot. Okay, that's good intel. I think. But it, then it, again... It, it's been a while since I've seen him play, but... But the problem is him, Wayne might also like... be a red Falco man. Who yeah, that's a, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's the thing that scares me. Um, I'm just going to call them red and blue until we know. Yeah. And then, um, oh, after game one, we'll see what they put in on Smash GG. If it's they, perfect. if they, if they mark their games mid set, they hopefully they because I think striking's built in Smash GG, so they probably is it? will. I did not know that. It is, yeah. So it goes to show how much. Hopefully, I've... <laughs> so game one's going to be on Battlefield. Okay. And uh, oh yeah, also hello stream. Welcome to the event. <laughs> Probably should have done an intro. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> I don't know if What's we were going to count but yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys are all hyped up on melee from the dock. Which, if you missed it, it there's more opportunities. Look into metagame. Definitely a worthwhile watch. Um, I'm Curry. I'm here today with Critical Effect. Want to go That's ahead? Me. All right, cool. we're yeah, just waiting do. for yeah, <laughs> we're just waiting for Jamie and Wayne. Looks like gonna be a Falco Ditto start again. Like we've mentioned, it's gonna be starting on Battlefield. Uh, it's just gonna be you know, classic neutral game. Oh, okay, drop down lasers and let's see. And lovely, here we go. Now to be clear. Okay, cool. So Jamie is gonna be the red Falco. Just to clarify, uh, yep. Wayne is of course the blue Falco. And yeah, let's just get into into our match, which has already been gotten into. Yeah, so a lot of matches, if they're both on the same level, they're just going to be starting out from like mid-space. It's going to be lasering to just start off neutral. Good sports match. We'll good out, sports yeah. match, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, cleans them up. You got to do that every once in a while, keep them honest. Yep. So basically, this match is going to be go down to who can convert off of their laser the best. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's who's, and, who's yeah. got the punishes, right? Pretty much. Who's got the punishes, who also has the reaction. Mm hmm And so far it's been, you know, Jammy kinda he's getting these pressure situations. Uh just really getting Wayne off of him well. Oh yeah, and even in this grip. even under uh up close scrambles, he's winning a lot of the interactions as well. You know, good use of offensive shines. It's all just near and bare. Yep. And he's also just like he's holding center stage, which Wayne yeah. is just he's he's up on the platforms, he's off stage, he's just never where he wants to be. Very brave recovery, though. Ooh, no. Oof, not getting the immediate snap off the fire. He's kind of looking like the four stock might come out. Oh, wait. Oh, no. yeah. Um, All right. My apologies. <laughs> that is one stock. <laughs> there hey, is an know, attempt. There, there is an attempt for a reverse four stock. Of and course. Jamie's not giving I mean, it's Falco. Chance. <laughs> it's Falco. It's, it's entirely possible. Yeah. It's. But uh, Jamie Ooh. would prefer not, I think. Yeah, a little bit of a panic air dodge up from Wayne, but not getting punished too too hard from Jammy. That being said, he's still okay. He he's is, trying to get he's, out. Of he's the corner. kind of the only thing is right. Wayne, he's just he's been dropping the edge guards where Jammy has. I don't think he's dropped a single one. Yeah, no, like Jammy's offensive pressure is just way more consistent compared to Wayne's. Like you can see that the Which, idea is there. Like I saw not, some. Yeah, I saw some solid stuff out of Wayne. I have right. not seen this animation before. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So it's bland, no, yeah. So, is... Yeah, add a little bit of flair to it. But Sorry, yeah, I'm Wayne just, I, I can't even has... comment that. I'm so distracted. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Wayne clearly has <laughs> ideas like on what they want to have for their pressure. Absolutely. But the, the first problem is you need to get in a position where you can actually pressure your opponent. Kind of like this. This is a really good start coming up from Wayne. Just they're, they're also blazing. they're having trouble cleaning it up. Like yeah. they're getting the, the 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 openings every once in a while, 
and they're even getting the combos, but they, they're not getting the dares. They're not getting the back airs. They're just not getting those those final hits that you really need to close it up. They're literally just getting strong neutral hits. It's like throwing out like yeah. that your heavies in like Street Fighter. It's just like, okay, here's here's like a single big hit, but I'm not yeah. really like linking a lot of hits into like a strong combo. If you catch my drift. Exactly. Yeah. Which Jamie's just linking strong hits together into yeah. combos. Which is He he's landing more strong hits than Wayne. And at this, I like the percentage that it matters the most. You know, he's getting the full, he's getting better conversions. Absolutely, and that'll be a stock for Jamie. But this match looking a lot closer. Looks like Wayne's kind of slowing things down to an extent, just not getting blown yeah. up. I think the big stage was a good pick. Yeah, he no, definitely he was getting choked out a lot in Battlefield, especially oh, yeah. with like how how close both players were in the start. And Jamie just had yeah. really good, you know, really good control in the early game. And right now, Jamie's starting to get his momentum back. Yeah, but I, oh. that you know, that's just the matchup. Is the momentum goes one way, and then it goes the other way. Uh, oh man, I like the idea of the slight angle coming. He up from tried the angle. He was yeah. close to it, but uh, not quite. Oh, it goes for the down smash instead of the forward smash. Bit of a choke there, but or maybe he just uh, missed the reaction and thought it was a roll in. Man, you hate to see it. Lost gambling, good uh, hug on the wall coming up from Jamie in order to prevent that high dare. Again, it's just I can't I can't tell if it's Wayne not cleaning things up or Jamie just being so so sneaky as he gets back to stage. Honestly, it might be a little bit of a combination of both. I, yeah. Oh dear, I'm not sure. If Maybe Wayne did not have his up. double jump there. Yeah, I definitely thought he did because you definitely don't shine there without a double jump. I have noticed Wayne has been rolling in quite a lot, and I think Jamie's been catching on to that. Oh, so... nice laser forward smash, and Jamie still gets back on. He's missing. The, he was missing uh, the bear right there in order to extend the edge guard. Yeah, it's just like I said, that last hit. Which there yeah. it is, and we're down to last stop. That's all you need. So let's see right, what lasers. we can pull off here. Good idea using the shine to you know prevent ladies from connecting, but looks like yeah, that's just, what Jamie wanted as he just holds the edge for at side B. Just grabs the ledge. Mm -hmm. Nothing Falcon can really do there. He could have upbeat, but he has plenty of time to react to that. Yeah, not to mention at Clean that distance. Clean 2-0 for Jamie. Yeah, that distance, like it's gonna be it's it's just an easy edge guard at that point. Especially coming from a recovering Falco. That's gonna be our first match of the evening. We uh, a whole bunch of other round ones are doing and what they do. Assuming we're gonna get try to get a majority of the round ones out of the way on stream. Although we did uh, happen to get, I think one of the fastest uh, round two matches, or <laughs> round one matches, just by chance, right? Because you know we got we got a spacey ditto and we got a little bit of a blowout. Like it it was close at times, but it was pretty clearly jammy all the way. I think. Yeah. So we're going to wait here and talk about Melee until someone tells us <laughs> something to watch. <laughs> until, we get, until we get a match. All right. Sorry. Hey. We got a voice in our ear on stream. That's why we went quiet for a moment. But let's <laughs> talk collegiate Melee or Melee or I don't know, something. Yeah. Melee. Uh, yeah. That's a good start. Melee. Yeah, no. I mean... Melee is pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's a pretty sick game. No, but I'm really liking this. Um, you know. Oh wait, already we got a match. Wow, we're we're moving fast. Okay. Um, getting names set up. Lucian and Drooby. So we're gonna have Lucian the Falcon against Drooby the Game and Watch. So I'm already I happy because love, I love watching Game and Watch. <laughs> I love watching it. I'm from uh, I'm from New Jersey. So, gotcha. you know, you know, we got Quirb. You know, we Quirb, love our yep. Game & Watch. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, definitely one of the weirdest characters in the game. Yeah. Just, the just, funny just... thing is that Game & Watch does have good moves. It's just that some of Game & Watch is like best move in this kit. He can't L cancel them. Oh, yeah. It's debilitating. 
It's so painful. And like <laughs> it just it makes them bad moves. Yeah. It's crazy. But uh, you know, definitely a character that okay. can still put in some serious work. Yeah, I mean so, the fair 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 and dare being elcantable is really good because that does give Game Watch really something uh, good gives them something. It gives them a good approach option and it gives them a half decent landing option. But everything else, that's super committal. Yeah. Wow, that forward smash Ooh. still connected. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a super lingering hitbox, and I think just, I don't think Lucian was just... ready for it. Oh yeah, I think he thought he was safe. Yeah. I Let's mean, it's one of those things knee. where, like, you 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 have to know whether it's yeah. you know from whatever Smash game you started off in, whether it be you know melee, brawl, four, whatever. You just that that's literally knowledge check. Yeah. It is. It's 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 just one of those things that. I mean, ideally, you get hit by it once, right? Yeah. And then never again. Uh, but you got to get hit by it once. And I have a feeling that Lucian's never been hit by that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Love the uh, jab reset scenario. Oh, uh, that weak fair could have been so much. But uh, wow, maybe he didn't so... think it was going to be the weak hit. I think Juby was able, using that f the rising full hop up there, it let him uh, just pretty much auto-cancel it and let, and let him rip that uh, forward smash for free. Yeah. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of him. For Good sure. Read. Decent pressure off the tech chase. Ooh. Don't keep on going. Yeah. That was Loving this patience coming up the movie. I love the down tilt. Just the inst the decision making that. Yeah. Oh, good tech. Good tech. Crazy tech, actually. And Lucian, he's just and missing out a lot smash. of... He's just missing out it's a lot of uh, death scenarios. He does get back. Which is actually fairly surprising. That should be a knee. Maybe yes, we'll it is. The, the dare knee. The classic. Definitely. Ooh, scary air dodge. But Juvie doesn't get a grab off of it. I'm sure, but he was scared he of a spot stock. dodge, but yep. It's all just, good. Just hangs on the ledge. Lucian too far out with the up B. Nothing he can do. I mean, he really, he just approached with forward air and got. Crouch cancel yeah. down smash for it. That's awful. Uh, Lucian definitely has present positions where he could be pressuring a little bit more, but he's just not taking these opportunities. And I mean, I, I hate oh my god, that's the hammer. That's. I mean, I hate to say, it, but I think a big part of the problem is Lucian just keeps getting hit by forward smash. Yeah, he's literally just. Kind of running in into all of Juby's attacks. Yeah, it's and it's, it, 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 it yeah it, it gets to a point where like you have to start okay you have to slow down you have to try and bait out these approaches you also have your wave dash back in order to just try and bait an option. You know yeah, you got you got to you got to play a little bit more. Lucian you is slow just your pace down a little getting bit. hit too yeah. much and just not blocking doing enough hit of the hitting. Yeah, <laughs> he's blocking with his face. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Right, Switching to Marth, to Marth. Which... Not the worst choice. I mean, then again, it's it's Game & Watch, you know. I mean, again, <laughs> I, I, I think... It's easy to count how many characters beat him, but... It's... it's, it it's this is something I, I, I feel pretty strongly about, that there is a certain, like, um, at most skill levels. Like, unless you're really at the top level... um matchup matters a lot less than comfort yeah right and the comfort can be on a matchup level but it kind of looks like he's just pulling out a pocket marth which yeah i i don't think is the play even if you think it's a better matchup you're just right. you, you move better with falcon you yeah you combo it's... better with falcon your neutrals cleaner it's it's you're losing too much to 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 gain it all back from the matchup yeah I mean, you can definitely see that. Like, even with Marth range, he's still trying to play super up close and super aggressive. Exactly. He, he's he's playing Marth like Falcon. Yeah. Which I mean, against like you know, this is why low tiers are low tiers in melee. They just lose to like being lamed out. Oh my gosh, he had the opportunity and he's choked it, but it's okay. Let the fourth just clean it up eventually. Yeah. Weird, 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 weird. Oh um, no. Off stage situation there. And another forward smash. Once again, just kind of getting hit, which is fairly unfortunate. 
Okay. Rips a counter. The Why counter. Not? Can't convert off of it, but you know, he gets them off of it. It's, it's something. Ooh, I don't like that. Gets the bacon coming out. Really don't. Yeah. <laughs> He's not really using like Tashin's he's not really using his movement to pressure um to pressure Juby when he's knocked down. So I mean the, the the movement here is not much more than just move in, right? Yeah. But like he's not like he's not trying to dash in, he's not trying to like wave that, dash. That he's, right there was the hallmark pocket Marth. Yeah. <laughs> where it's like I can yeah, I can I can usually sweet spot. But usually is not good enough for bracket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's He's starting to get desperate. Oh yeah, it's 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 not looking good for Lucian. Oh <laughs> my god! With a Ends six, it with the hammer again. Specifically the six. Man, it's crazy. Oh yeah, it's a double six. I don't know how I feel about that. That's. Does it mean something? It probably means something. He's he's going to code, <laughs> man. And six is a good six is a good number too. It's like minus if if you take out nine, six is probably his second his second best number, or the yeah. best number if you don't count it just, nine. It just it it has a good angle. Oh my god, yeah, good angle, good knockback, yeah. good hit stun too. It's crazy. It just there's a lot of characters that just cannot get back from a from a six. Yeah. So you know, congrats to Drewby. Um, Ooh, jammy again. We should, good luck in the losers bracket. Uh, oh yeah, I also have a match I should probably play eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I, I, you, I, I, I think you might have missed your match, but <laughs> I don't know, because, <laughs> because the, uh, the, the, the person who who DQ'd, uh, the, the. Who DQ'd you is is now playing the next match. Oh my gosh! But they but they showed it they showed up for the next match. Oh my so, gosh! Oh wow! Uh... I just see go to and I don't see any mark for check ins. I'm so sad. Or I think I think I'm I think I'm on the wrong link. Yeah, I think I might be on the wrong link. Okay, view you match. still got loser's bracket. Yeah. Also, uh, what are we watching? Is this Jamie McDunzo? Man, that is a good name. Jamie McDunzo? That's I. I want that to be my tag. Uh, oh, of course. Actually, these are both really good tags. We're getting into it. And so, wow, good in counter. The straight up, that was that was cheeky. I mean, it, it the, it's hard for me to take the game seriously when there's a Ganon on screen because <laughs> what? No, no serious player plays plays Ganon. You play Ganon because it's funny. Like who does that? Who jump Falcon or jump Warlock kicks or whatever it's called from the ledge? I mean, come on. <laughs> Somehow it worked. <laughs> What's it called? Wizard's foot? The wizard's yeah, dive. Like, wizard's... Something like that. Ah, uh, something. Or, yeah, it's the foot, because for some reason, the rising move is called a dive. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, yeah, right, of course. Mm -hmm. But whatever. No, 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 it's a dive. Come on, look, yeah. just look at it. It's a dive. <laughs> Are you crazy? No, no. So, oh, no. um, okay, I didn't know if we were allowed to or not. I don't stoop, uh, that, I don't stoop that low. <laughs> okay, okay. I didn't I didn't know what the rule was on that. Oh, is that the kind of tournament we have? Okay. Oh, man. Okay, good to know. God. That should be uh, a double. Yep. Yeah, that's it's clean. This is actually very close. Um, yeah. Which... It means we probably should have been doing actual commentary, but yeah. it's too late for that now. I mean, it's 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 Falco versus <laughs> Ganon. It's Falco, Falco Ganon. Fal Fal what are you going to say? Falco going to try and do his combos. Ganon is just going to hit him hard. That, Ganon that, that's that's Ganon. <laughs> yeah, Ganon, Ganon, Ganon hit hard, but his hard hits are good.
Ah, Genon hit hard, Falco hit often. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Large brain. And he stole his yeah, no. <laughs> So he is simply a, a dead dwarf. Ah, stuck. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Like, Jamie is like... You know, he's doing his just strings. He's building up the damage, and then he just gets hit order. by a raw forward air. That should be a- What? Just grab ledge! Grab, grab ledge! ledge. Or, if you wanna, or, like, throw out an up air or something. God. Come on. Do any- Don't just stand there. You had it! Throw, like, Man, an up air. Throw out a mare. Okay, that- Okay, it's a forward That sums up the eye. There yeah. it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One out of McDunzo. People oh, just hey, people need to grab the ledge. It's it's a it it, it feels lame, and it, but it's it's so good. You gotta. <laughs> you just grab just grab the ledge. Hey everyone, Lucky Lux Rock Nine lie here just here to say uh, if you're in bracket, grab ledge. Oh my god, like it's not friendly. <laughs> the friendly I get yelling it. At about this it friendly I get it, but like this is bracket man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just a just a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> the tip of the day is grab the ledge in bracket. <laughs> Pretty good. What if can oh, you get my. rid of the uh, can you get rid of the cube thing on the uh, on the loading screen and just get tip of the day grab ledge in bracket? <laughs> yeah, he's just holding hostage. That'll do there you it. go. Yeah. <laughs> That's I mean, pretty standard, Falco. Yeah, I mean, FD, FD pick on against Ganondorf, especially with lasers. Because one of the big issues that Jamie had earlier was this: whenever he got caught on platform, he just he kind of didn't he didn't really know what to do. And McDonald's was just like, big hitbox, good. Yeah. Yeah. So this is definitely I also working love out. Yeah. How I'm, this I'm pretending out, to be an expert on this matchup, even though I've probably played it like three times. <laughs> Look, you play Ganondorf in one game, you've pretty much played him exactly. in all games. <laughs> it's, yeah, Ganondorf... <laughs> you know, it's the one nice thing about him. His battle yeah. plan... He, he knows his battle plan. Yeah. He knows what's up, and he, 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 he runs the same thing every time. <laughs> Is it predictable? Yes. Does it sometimes look cool? Absolutely. I mean, why do you think he's like the ha-ha funny Smash character? Of course. Yeah. He's just... He's, he's dependable. <laughs> And that's yeah, what I exactly. look for in a in a in a in a man. He he doesn't always get the job done, but he always tries. Yeah, no, ja see Very now cool. now without the plat now that the platforms, he's ab he's actually able to move on uh Dunzo. Yeah. A standing laser, let's it was, go. It's a good counter pick. Cause I mean Ganondorf, what do you do? You have no landing options, you have no movement options, you just it's just uh, the ground. It's 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 tough to be a Ganondorf on Final Destination. Cause like even though like, what was the ban? I think the ban was probably like either Fountain or or Stadium. Uh, One of those two, maybe Stadium. I, I'd say Stadium probably would be my guess. I mean, luck, lucky you can check. I think so. As as maybe. Admin. Mm. Oh yeah, you probably can't can't view it in retrospect. You can view it live as it happens. I know that. Yeah. No, I was just clean two stock. I was straight to clean up. JV3 yeah. actually. So one one, close tight set. This is what I like to see. This is good melee. Oh god, someone already clipped us. <laughs> grab ledge. <laughs> <laughs> just grab ledge. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, okay. No, no, they, they messed up. They messed up. I was about to say, I was about no to say that that's, that's a thing very thing. bold thing. Wait, what? McDunzo is crazy if you think that's... I mean, listen, that is the Ganondorf way, is you just run into the brick wall again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not surprised that... Actually, um, yeah, I can this, definitely this makes sense. see this pick. It just it it means lasers aren't nearly as ineff as effective because he was yeah. getting lasered like crazy last game. Yeah, I mean it was it was it was either gonna be this or battlefield. I feel like. 
And also here, Ganondorf kills you at 40. Yeah. And so, Falco can also do that. Nice. Falco well, can recover. And... You know, you give and you, you, give and you yeah. take. But yeah, I think I, th I think Jamie is just playing a lot more safer now. He's yeah. He's he's trying to just fade. He's trying to like start at around like mid range as much as he can. It's one and of those like, things where it's like you 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 you, you want to play the fun game against the, the Ganon, and then you lose round one, and you're like, all right, yeah. Well, it's like okay, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll play lame. <laughs> I'll do what I gotta. Yeah. Oh wow, clean clean. Option yeah, I no, he, I mean, I Jamie's it. Jamie's just playing the edge game really well. He's trying yeah. to he's he's um baiting out, you know, the low trying to go for the high recoveries by doing drop down air, drop down bear, and then just coming up with a down smash. Yeah, and if McDonzo has like the SDI of gods, yeah, you're just you die. Yeah, big forward air, but he's just nowhere near the ledge. I mean, tries to go for like a read up smash, which he gets the read and it doesn't even connect. I'm just the I don't love the edge play from McDunzo. Yeah, it's just he's I mean playing, that, that's he's where Falco's too bad. Base. Yeah, just when he has to recover. Just there a little go. bit safety. There, there you, go. you go. Oh, Randall, the kind of gets ruined by Randall, but that's the idea. Yeah, he's got the gist. Remember the tip of the day: grab ledge. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> grab the ledge, hit, slap the bird. Um, yeah. The oh bird. yeah, that is so there. small. It feels like it should be so big, and it's just it's his his hand is so small. <laughs> oh wow! Don't know how just that clipped through, but all right, McDonzo, what do you got? Does have a chance? Ooh, missing the shine bear, He's but dead. the up air. That's the end of McDonzo. And another JV Dunzo is going to put Jammy into semis. Uh, yeah, that's actually that's top eight, I guess. Yep. So that's cool. Oh my God, Jammy is just in the hot seat. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, I wait see. a second. Why, why was why was there a three zero in quarters finals? Uh, um, are okay. they still playing? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, well, we're doing best of five now. Yeah. And he actually wanted to run back on the stage. I'm, hmm. Uh, yeah, fair enough. I understand it. It, like, I, there comes a point where, like, wh what's a different stage going to do? Yeah. Like, the stage wasn't killing him. Okay, one time Randall kind of messed him up, but yeah. beyond that, like. I mean, I guess. Like, it, it's, you know. Like, is there a stage I mean, where, where Ganondorf beats Falco? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, so. I guess the small... Because I'm pretty sure Yoshi's story has a smaller just overall stage than Battlefield, right? Yes, it does. Yeah, okay. And that's probably Blast that's, Yeah, I, I, I know about the Blast Zones. I couldn't remember if the stage itself mm -hmm. was smaller. But I guess yeah, that's why he wants Yoshi's, just because he doesn't have to worry about getting camped out too much. Oh, but yeah. Just, yeah, Jamie's just all crazy. over it. crazy. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's like, okay, Falco McLeod, we see you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say, game is crazy. It wasn't going to work, yeah. He really wants this four stack. Yeah. Suicide there, you won't. Okay, well, that's not a position to go for it. And the back here. Uh, drops it. Come on. JV? 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 Ah! Uh, no. Uh, crap. <laughs> just crash him on a side B. <laughs> Ganondorf. And he doesn't even throw him. Okay. Here's where Ganondorf does the big things. Ah. Uh, and the flight. He did not do the big things. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't very big. <laughs> there was an attempt. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there was. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guess that's what We're, this is. Is this? Listen, stream. We've listened to you. You haven't said much about this particular topic, but we know what you want. You want more jammy, <laughs> and that's right. We have more I mean, jammy. 
Look, man, I'm happy to watch. I'm happy to watch Jammy. I'm happy to watch the boy. <laughs> I'm totally not yeah, biased, cool. man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know Jammy, so I'm I'm clearly the the unbiased commentator here. Exactly. I just happen to know that everybody wants to watch Jammy in particular. Are you Jammy sick? Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Course. Jammy is sick. Um, and he's gonna be fighting DD. A Jigglypuff. So, uh, I, you know, it'll be Falco Jigglypuff. Not sure if he might pull out a fox, because I know he has that. I'm not sure if he does it for the puff. Um, I've seen him pull it out a few times. How is Puff Falco? Oh, Falco. Puff, 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 Puff. Uh, yeah. Because Puff Falco is not great. For yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not, not a fun time. It's, it's not, it's not a, it's not terrible per se, but it's not, I mean, it's Jigglypuff not fun is, either. It's just like a, 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 a mystery, right? Yeah. Cause on paper, she's, she's like not that great. Jigglypuff <laughs> is literally just a mini game. Yeah. It's, it's like, she, she she's so good in practice, but like yeah. on paper, she, she doesn't win anything. Yeah. It's, it's literally just who has the stronger mental energy. To deal with Puff. Like, Falco obliterates her in theory. Yeah. But... Like, he has the practice. he has the tools for it. It's just, the problem with Puff is... Can you land a hit on Puff, and can you keep on hitting Puff? And also, it might be easier with Fox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fox which, actually has the combos to deal with Puff. And Falco, you, you have not there, really. Which, enough said. Yeah. Um... What a good move. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, no, um... I enjoyed it. I, I... I mean... You know, someone just, died... L Lucky Zanario, he told us to talk about Medicaid. Yeah, yeah no, I was about to say it. Because, like, talk, cause, like Medicaid made me so happy because I get to see, like, the interview with Dr. Peep and I, you know, I was a doc kid. I watched it, like, back in high school. So, oh, like, yeah. I was... You know, watching I the just, documentary and then not seeing Dr. Peepee for a while and then... I think like the then only time that I again, yeah. that PP came after like 2015 was like Battle of the Gods, sponsored by Red Bull or something like that. Yeah. So to see you know Dr. PP talking about himself in the game, it was just it was it, it made me happy. I watched the doc, prob the original one. Probably yeah. I probably found it in like 2016 because I was um, you know I was I never owned a GameCube. I had a um, a Wii, my parents bought me Brawl. Right. I eventually got to got to Smash Four. Started playing that a little bit. Uh, went to a couple tournaments for it, and then I found this documentary when I was like fifteen, fourteen, somewhere in there. And when I watched, I didn't get to watch the whole thing today because I had to I had to leave halfway through. But I watched the first episode, and I as I'm sitting there, I'm just. I'm just in my mind. I am 14 years old again. Yeah. And just sitting on like my mom's computer with earbuds in, just watching the intro to the Smash Brothers for the first time, and being like, "This is insane. Somebody made a a movie about yeah. this. Somebody, somebody cared enough." To show off how much these people care. Right. And these people care. And I want this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucky's coming. Hey everyone, hey. Lucky Luxtrick 9 live back here. Just want to say, if you're going to watch Metagame tomorrow, keep an eye out for when they do the Justice 4 clips, and you'll see me playing my first ever tournament set against Armada. Yes, it will be in the video, because I saw it on the, the Metagame excerpt YouTube, so... I, I will be in it for literally 0.5 seconds, so... Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Against Armada in my first tournament ever, and it was rough. It was wow, very I'm rough. sure that went well. I'm sure that went well. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually so cool. You, your first tournament, you get to play... play and my first that. tournament set, too. They were like, all right, let's just get this scrub versus set. Armada route, like, like oh start the God. pool. That's seeding, that seeding, baby. <laughs> I know. Like, oh, you're, so you're new to the lucky. game? All right, let's, let's let you play against, like... One of the best in the world. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> and it was a local in New York, so you know Armada doesn't really right. go to those. That was like special. That's, that's crazy. All right. 
We got a button check. All right. Bye. Are we mad chilling? Okay. Oh, wow. It looks like the men not even uh, hand warmer. I guess they are. Hand warmer is like, up. yes, the game works. <laughs> Yeah, they're probably warm by now. Okay, we're going in. Straight okay, I found a dream. Uh, which not yeah, the seems most... pretty neutral. Yeah, I was about to say, not the most conventional uh, game one pick, but, you know, with the, vari the variable height of the platforms and with, you know, Falco not really going to be killing off the top too much, it's not a bad pick. It's just, you know, it, it's it's a matchup where... You want to go to a triplat, but like in terms of neutral, but like which one kind of doesn't matter that much as long as it's not Dreamland. Yeah. Ooh, guess that Ooh, forward air. This is good. I yeah, guess the nice. check though Heck. turns it around. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, that that kill was totally just like a lucky coincidence. He was he was mostly trying to survive, but. We take those. Yeah, I'm not gonna like if 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 you're if you're playing against a Jigglypuff, I'm I'm not gonna complain about that. Oh yeah, um, I will complain about that though. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's just what we're talking about. You know, Jigglypuff is just so freaking hard to hit. So, oh yeah, if you can get your string started and you can get that, you know, killing that that stock taking hit. But it's just you know, like you see job. that shine. Boom! She's halfway across the world. Yeah. Like, it's it's just... It's like, this is the only thing. It is a rather big set of blast zones, which means you're going to have to do a lot of hitting Jigglypuff before she dies. I mean, the side isn't that big, per se, but the top blast zone, okay, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a struggle that Falco's going to have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not getting the attack is definitely going to steal out that stock. Because it's just, it's just a lot of room to DI up. Out of yeah. back airs and such. Wait, what? Just the forward air. <laughs> okay, I guess that works. Just, uh, that's the PP classic. Just forward air. I mean, honestly, any forward air from Falco on Puff is the PP. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Spirit of PP has invaded 2020. Oh, yeah. Like, unironically. <laughs> PP doesn't have to be playing to be inspired by PP. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a free back air. Absolutely. No risk, all reward right there. And DD is now Jigglypuff with the lead, which is yeah. just awful if you're Falco. I mean, I'll, I'll see it's, this. It's, I'm, ha I'm happy that DD's oh, going that. in and yeah, grab. knocking out the last stock with a rest. No DI on the up throw, and that's the deletion for you. Classic. <laughs> That's game one. This will once again be best of five, though, so a lot more melee to be played. And, uh, you know, loser's bracket's going pretty great at this point. Yep. There's a lot of DQs, to be honest. Um, but, you know, matches are starting to happen, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, but also, back to the match, because it started faster than I thought it would. Yeah, so Yochi story. This is honestly another pick that I was expecting to see game one, just because of the small blast zones, and that's kind of what Jamie wants. Or oh yeah, anyone fighting against Puff, just yeah. I want to well, get. I mean, I'm sure this is the. Possible. I'm actually. I guess the ban from DD would be. Well, there's no uh, ban because it's best of five. Oh yeah, it's best of five. That's right. So yeah, this is this is the easy Falco pick. Oh no, Randall will be a uh, homie. Oh. Doesn't quite. Re he just he doesn't know. He doesn't know his Randall timings. Yeah. Which, to be fair, I mean, you gotta you got you gotta look at to. you gotta look at a timer. You you got you gotta count the frames, man. You already want to do will, all that. <laughs> I will never learn Randall timings in my life. I promise you that. I just I just know the general side that he's gonna be on, and that's good enough for me. I, I sometimes see him on one side and say, oh, he might show up on the other side, too. Eventually. Cool. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I thought DD dropped it for a bit, but right when Jamie was about to do his up B, that's the forward air. 
And now, I mean, you see, as soon as Didi gets a lead, a lead you just see this style change. Yeah. Right? I mean, right now he's in punish, but the neutral just... Oh, that's okay. That's, <sighs> that's, a that's a dead oh. buff. That's a dead buff. Okay. He has too many jumps on the combo. <laughs> you hate to see it. Unless you hate Puff, in which case you love to see it. <laughs> okay, Randall, what's up? Oh no, not connecting to Shine. But Jamie's still... He was getting something started, but the raw forward smash... Max out the forward smash, yeah. yeah. He saw him playing around, he said, nah, 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 nah. You don't yeah. do that here. Get out my this lawn. This is bad because Jamie is just gonna start pressing buttons even more than he was earlier. Yeah, and the one thing you cannot do against uh, Jigglypuff's yeah. press buttons. Yeah. So like, can you see that he's trying to really scrape out, you know, single hits just to have a semblance of advantage. Just to, yeah, exactly. Just to feel like he's doing something. Yeah. But he doesn't need just, like, dash attack doesn't do anything. Yeah. That back air does something. But, um, you, you, you know, you need, you need your shines, you need your, your down airs. Not, not, not just whatever you can get. Right now, this is a really good position for did, Jamie right now. He did close up the gap very yeah. well, though. So, And now he can play a little bit more relaxed. Like, yes, it's oh, yeah. the last dock, but he's not having to... That was a great you know, bait. ...close the lead, yeah. Now, Didi's gonna be playing a lot more of the back air game. Oh, raw force smash. Don't like Checks it, but Didi doesn't punish that hard. Oh, no. Just zips right oh, back. So many initial get-ups from Jammy. Yeah. Didi's not really doing anything about it. He's kind of letting it but happen. See, he, he, he's just... Oh, oh, no. Misses the jump. That's so unfortunate. That's not what I like to see. Bad luck. Yeah, but like... It, when, when, when Jammy is playing, like, when the eat stocks are even, you know, he's doing fine. He's not... He's not really forcing. He's not really scrambling too much just to find hits. So if he just plays like that, even when he's behind, he'll be okay because Didi, Didi plays aggressive no matter what the deficit is. Absolutely. Like if, like when when Didi is yeah, in the lead, they play more aggressively. Which is weird for Puff. Yeah, it's 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 weird for Puff Very and weird in general. You, you, when, when you have the lead, especially like a stock lead, you you're not... with it, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to, like... You don't want to be in their face. Like, yeah, like, you can play aggressively, but running in with the lead is not typically what you see. Unless you play Falco. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that, that, that's why I say it's not what you typically see. <laughs> but for Puff in particular, like, you, you take that lead and you camp with it. But, you know, hey, who am I? It's working, so... Ready? And we're back into some melee. Yeah, um, back to Yoshi. Can, can we possibly remove the the swarm? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no. Honestly, the stage isn't bad for Jamie. He just oh, to, yes, first of all, not get hit. Not uh, get hit. Could, should get be a stock here. Just gets the down tilt nice and clean. He just needs to play this match as if he's always in the lead. And that's just like, you know, know your spacing, just play Yeah, it's, it's all about confidence against me. Yeah. This match, hey, it, head grab. that was oh, so yeah. clean. Just gets the lightest tap of the forward air, grabs the, the edge of the last possible frame. You know, what's Falco gonna do about it? And this is what I'm liking, this is what I'm starting to see from Jamie now. Now he's oh. trying to- Oh my god, good Draw down there. Draw down the dash attack. Surprisingly, Didi's not going to be able to jump out of it. But yeah, you see Jamie doing a lot more um, up tilts as like an anti-air, and back airs as well. Just not yeah, just, moving just too much from the center. Yeah, and, and this, this, this is what he should be doing like, you know, all all game. It just take control of the like center. Yeah. Kind of looked like he was at a, he, he he realized that he was higher than he wanted to be, so he just reacted with the shorten so that he wouldn't put himself in a bad position. <laughs> Sometimes Lucky just says things into my ear and I just lose it for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, 
I just, I just, I just lose my grasp of reality. And I just, I just have to take a second, you know? Ow. Anyway, still a tight game. GD, yeah. yeah, up a stack, but high percent, so. Yeah, no, like, GD should like be able to clean this up with one good, solid good back air or something one. along yeah. those lines. Back air as well. You see him fishing for that back air. Yeah, and you saw that down to the thumb. Yeah. You really tried. He just wants to be with it. Which is a dangerous thing to- Or just kick the ball. Yeah. Just kick the ball. Kick the baby. <laughs> and yeah, last stop. Yeah. Uh, oh no. Actually, DD oh, could've cleaned it up right here. Crazy clutch attack. Alright, here we go. That was insane. Jamie desperately needed that. <laughs> well, Puff is make, doing work and Jamie just gets right above the ledge. Give him another chance. Yeah, and again, Jamie's playing the boxing game. Uh, now at high percents. Which is really where Falco wants this to be. Yeah. Uh, you just gotta oh, not get back scared and not get forward. Yeah, finished. there it is. You got it. You cleaned yeah, it up. Yeah, that, that was the one condition I was, I was noticing because uh, Jamie would do the downer in order to force a knockdown. Didi wasn't attacking at all, so all he just had to do was try and f find that down tilt. And that's what he did that jab check earlier try and bait a reaction from Didi. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. finally found it. Finally and now it. we're on. Dreamland, so we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> Welcome to Puff's <laughs> house. Yep. Oh, that could have been a rest. Yeah. DD, DD wanted I to play. I thought he was gonna get it. I mean, I just he he saw the roll and he said no, but it was yeah. He was just like roll, but he could still get it. Yeah, DD was just like ah, I don't want to be too committal, so I'll just throw it back instead. Yeah, it makes it makes sense. Cause like, Jammy doesn't really combo that much in this matchup. He just gets a lot of good. He just does yeah, a lot. Yeah, at most he gets two. It's yeah. two hit combos are the biggest he can possibly yeah. get. What I do yeah. wish is um, that there was a little bit more grabbing from the Falco. Yeah. Cause it is really good at just uh, checking Puff B and Shield. Yeah. Um, it does get beat by Crouch. But you'll you'll notice there's not like at this percent, like Didi's not even gonna bother crouching for the most part. Yeah. Because you know can't crouch, cancel anything. Jamie's not going to grab, so you know. Oh it's my not gosh. Really super. Wow, that kills. Yeah. I guess he's super high. He was super high. Didn't have a jump. Yeah, he's not making it back. But uh, Jamie's going a little crazy with these super high up bees. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it, especially when he's at high percents. Oh yeah, like I, like I get I, I I I I get the mix up in doing that in using that option, but you're fighting against you're doing it against a puff. We can just float there. If puff's okay. roll was a little bit faster. That was dead. Oh, this is a good play. Uh, for okay, Nixon uh, doesn't get the edge guard. Okay, can't clean it up and um. Oh, let's. If he, I think if he held ledge there, DD he was dead. Yeah, Didi would have been forced to go uh, high. I think he was out of jumps. I think he was out of jumps. Oh no, a roll from Jammy. It's only giving him a shine. I mean, this is just ah, uh, gets back, yeah. but he's just bouncing him left to right to left to right. Yeah. And that'll probably do it. Yeah. Yeah, another attempt at a high recovery. Shower, but still going high above the ledge. Which is all that Jammy has done this match so far. Oh, sports map. Up there. Just, yeah, just, and just he, lays he, there. And he knows yeah. Jamie's yeah, not gonna you, do anything about it. You saw that, because the thing is that Jamie is looking for the down tilt. And then D is just like, okay, I'll delay the wake up. If you notice, the only time he got it last game, at the very end, was uh, was when he just did it, right? Yeah. Just assume no tech. Because that's what DD's doing. He's just no teching and just chilling until Jamie gets impatient and commits to something. Yeah. And then he just gets up for free. 
Wow. Surprisingly back here, yeah. Going through the phantom. But you know, that makes sense. Yeah. Ooh, again, high recovery, yeah. but that's Once not gonna again, do anything yeah. anyways. Just just hits him off, plays super patient. Jamie looking kinda lost. Trying to throw out these lasers. Not a rust, but that's a rust. Yep. And he knows. Yeah. DD 3 1 over Jamie. Gonna go to Winner's Finals. So, congrats yep. to him. Jamie, gonna be looking for his revenge in the lose bracket. So, we'll see more of him, perhaps, at a later point. For now, I don't know what we're gonna have on stream. It looks Probably like it's gonna be Juby versus Quade. Yeah, I was like, they're 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 doing something. I I. I... Oh, hey, I have oh. a match. <laughs> so this is this is like their melee history. All oh, right. we're back at we're back at real time. I will disappear because I have a match to play. Yep. Oh, you still have a match? <laughs> yep, I finally have a match. <laughs> Um, actually, it might be a DQ. <laughs> oh, no, it looks like... no. Interesting. Right. Uh, yeah, I'll commentate okay. this one with you. Alright, game All right, and watch. Interesting. I mean, we've seen this from Drooby before. I'm really yeah, excited to see. Uh, uh, Fox, definitely a very different matchup from uh, what we were watching before. We got some more. Oh, it was Falcon Marth. Falcon Marth. So... Um, we're gonna see the the game watch a lot more on the defensive here, cause Fox, you know, just gonna approach whenever he feels like it. Drooby with a decent percent lead right now. Uh, not quite sure how he wants to finish up right now and lead into a killing combo. But so far, so good. Yeah, but oh, but Quade com coming back with Quade, this percent. He's looking like he's kind of uh, found his footing in the match, but he's you know kind of remembered what uh, Drooby's gonna throw at him. Taking a deep breath and just gone back to playing his game, which is it looks like let the uh, let the game and watch approach. Yeah, good punish there. Quad is gonna take the first stock. Gonna get an up throw up there. This is percent right there. That's this forty percent real quick. Forty four. He slips out of the last one, unfortunately. I'm Even liking these lasers a lot. Oh lasers. yeah, good damage. Just saying. Mm -mm. Y you have to deal with this. Yeah. I mean, in the very least, it provides mental pressure. It just says do something, right? Yeah. It says do something or I'll get you a 200 <gasps> and you'll, you'll just lose. Oh my god, Sakurai combo! Sakurai combo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Game Watch being, of course, the perfect weight for it. And Drewby loving his forward smashes, as we know. Mm hmm. I mean, let's see if he's going to get anything to finish. In a row. Let's get the down smash, which barely kills. Yeah, barely. I mean, that just seemed like perfect percent. Yeah, but that's Dream Line for you. Yeah. But you don't want to have to kill that late. Yeah, you, you really can't count on, like, 160% stocks all the time. Because, you know, Fox will blow you up in half that time. Yeah. Oh, see, these lasers are so good. Just, like, taking uh, a step back, getting just... a couple free lasers. And it's, 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 he's taken some lasers, and then sometimes he just lets him approach and does more lasers. Oh, what a good so, up smash. Yeah. And then sometimes he's doing the lasers, and then approaching directly after him, mm -hmm. and, uh, just catching Drooby. Uh, uh, just getting ready to approach to deal with the lasers, and he says, no, 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 actually I'll do it this time. Yeah. Look at a little bit like Falco, the way he's approaching with these lasers, honestly. You yeah. Know. I mean... <laughs> it's 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 even though they don't do knockback, they still they you want to shield them, right? Yeah. It's hard to just ignore them, which is kind of what you have to do mm -hmm. when they're when the fox is coming in. Yeah. So that's the best decision. All right, I'm gonna take it. seven. I'm gonna take seven. Let's not take forty-five. Do you see that pressure right there? It forced uh, Drewby to be like, okay, I kind of have to move in now. I got hit by like five lasers. Yeah. It's just it's just laser fear. That's that's quite his game plan, and it's working a charm. Kind of looks like Drooby's just not getting the follow-ups, not quite fast enough, and that means Quade is going to take game Unsafe one. Unsafe forward air under shield, easy up smash for Quade, and he's up a game. All right, so there's no bans. Where do you think we're going, Curry? 
Oh man. Uh, well, where does Game and Watch want to go against Fox? Um, not FD. Uh, maybe I think Battlefield. Yeah, I'm thinking Battlefield Possibly. or Fountain. Battlefield. Those would be my or two Fountain. guesses. Yeah. Ready? Oh, yep. Here Fine. we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm thinking about the high ceiling. I, I think you know he wants to make sure that yeah, the up smash is not going to be an easy off kill. The top a lot. Yeah. I don't think he. I don't know if he ever killed Bode off the top. Yeah, I don't think so. I think if anything, it's just the side using neutral air to try and get a hard knock off the side. Yeah, neutral air is a is, is classic forward smash. Oh, great down tilt to catch. Ooh, that was the timing on that was impeccable. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for it again for a sec. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think that's something most people can do consistently. Yeah. Definitely not optimal, but very cool. Oh, the movement to get very that up flashy. smash. Just run in, get you to chase me. No, no, no. Keep this foot. Alright, raw side be back to stage. Kind of a scrubby choice, but it works because people don't expect it. Get some tech uh, chase on the platform. Leads to a grab, but he can't convert out of it, unfortunately. And oh, I have been noticing just it. a lot of these these landing down airs from Druby, and I I know that it's it's kind of in terms of attacks, it's it's kind of all he's got outside of like landing with forward air, but. It's it's just it's it's becoming so predictable. Yeah, and it's hard against like, I'm Fox. I'm actually amazed Quite didn't get a grab there. Because Fox is so fast. That down air is like not easy to hit against a character that can just like easily run out and be like, yeah, that's not actually gonna hit. You just yeah, I'll just avoid this and just punish it on the way down. All right, good forward smash. Gets his forward smash for the first time. But they easily out of there, but uh, still a stack deficit. Yeah. He just oh. needs more conversions. He's getting some openings, but he's just getting so little off of those openings. Yeah. Like even that missed forward air is just an example. Gets a grab. Gets the forward air. Just goes for a forward smash. Oh. Yes. Uh, I'm noticing there's, there's not a lot of patience from Drew. Not a lot. And he's at death percent. One more up air is going to do it. Uh, yeah. Oh, not. I was wrong. <laughs> not at ground level. Yeah, not at ground level. Up throw up here, totally. But now we can do it. Slow get up. Druby's just hitting that shield. I, I do like the fade back after the fair, but he still can't convert anything and just gets kicked for it. Yeah. I think in neutral, they're actually pretty close to even. It's just that Quade is just getting so much more off of each opening. Yeah. Just does get the forward air, which is not going to quite kill, but ah, uh, goes for the forward smash. Wow, and the that actually, that what? up tilt right there? Kill? Yeah, I know, and then that's the fountain actually biting Druby in the butt. Oh, yeah. I looked away for a second because I thought I had a moment for a breather, and then, you know, it just comes down at 170. Alright, solid lead for Quade right now. I mean, there's not oh, yeah. much that could go wrong for him unless he SDs or just takes super unnecessary percent. Doesn't connect the full uh, up air. Just a bit oh, and that's it. Yep. It, but that'll do it. Yeah. Derby. I don't know what he can do in this game to uh, to make this happen. Um, I, I think he needs to dig stage deep. switch, but that's not gonna like the stage isn't doing it. It's 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 he's not doing it. Right. Yeah. I, there's there's not like a better pick either. Oh yeah. Ready? Okay, I I don't actually think this is good. I think this is actually not good for uh Drewby. Oh, great tech. Okay, now he's getting some conversions though. Alright, let's see. Fox going in, drill shine. Laser pressure, great. Alright. So, I uh, went to uh, Yoshi's, which is an interesting thing. Perhaps frustrated at how long Pade was living, understandably. Yeah, but I think up smash here will kill at like 70, so I think this is still very scary. Yeah. It's the weak kit of forward smash, so it's not going to clean it up. Trades with the, uh, or clanks with the up smash. Good, good forward air. But does get the first stock for the first time to set. Yeah. 
Oh, but that's that's uh, gonna even it up for uh, yeah. <laughs> Quade. That's the angry fox. Just uh uh, you don't get a lead. Go away. Oh, that double short hop, double laser into a like dash back and approach. Really beautiful. That almost killed. Oh, it's just these up airs are so potent on, on Game & Watch. Yeah. You, you, you have to play around that grab. Also, I don't really know if drooby has been DI'ing the up, the up throws. I think, I feel like I've just been seeing a lot of straight ups from Drooby. Yeah. Oh, that was a that, cute combo. That was clean! That was cute! First couple minutes of back Oh my god, okay, and then... And quite then a, again, evens the it up angry again. fox says, no, no, no. You, you gotta run from a invincible fox. You just can't try oh, and fight yeah. that. But, I mean, how does Game Watch even run? It's yeah. So slower. Like, you can't run, you can't hide. What are you supposed to do? And Game Watch doesn't have a ledge doll either, so it's not like ledge is your friend. Yeah, you just. You just gotta outmaneuver. Oh, it goes for a forward smash this time. Edgeguard opportunity. Oh, wow. Oh, just. Just. I think. I, th this happens all the time, and it happens to me too. When Randall's there and the ledge is there, and you, you kind of you kind of can't pick, so you end up going just between the two. Oh, absolutely! I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> it kind of looks like that's what just happened. Yeah, it's because it's I mean, the lack just... of commitment that really gets you there. Yeah, you're like going towards the ledge, and, you're and like, oh, maybe I should go for Randall. That's a 3-0, and it's COVID, and we're online, so no handshakes. <laughs> <laughs> that's a 3-0 and a GG in the and a, and a GG, GG, yeah. So yeah, uh, Quade gonna be moving on to winners finals to fight Didi. I, maybe we'll see that now. I think we're gonna have that up right now. I mean, I'm just gonna wait till the Smash GG updates, and we'll get that going. And I think fair enough. Clean water should be coming in to commentate. Okay. Because I'm not I'm not a good commentator. I just run the stream. Ah, you're good. You're good. Lots of fun. All right, he is in. We've got clean water. Uh, but hey, clean but everyone remember, Mich water. Flint, Michigan still doesn't have clean water, so you know you gotta still remember that we didn't fix that yet. Yes, sir. Dang. <laughs> Lucky made it All right. second, but uh, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> yeah, good. Everything's going all right. Good to good to have you here. Uh, brackets been, you know, progressing as brackets do. We got our winners finals, I think, up next between uh, Quade and Didi. So probably some Fox Puff happening. And then, nice. you know, Losers is chugging along. Nice, nice. Yeah, I had tuned in for some of the Jammy games. I was rooting for Jammy to make it, but Didi looked like he was he was too tough there. I mean, Jammy's still in here, so yeah, the Losers we'll running some more of him. Yeah, there's always Losers. Never count out a loser's Falco. Yes, sir. Especially after metagame. Especially after metagame. <laughs> I feel like it inspired everybody a little bit. Oh, absolutely. I'm the, I mean, I know as soon as the tournament's over, I'm just hopping on and playing some melee. 100%. Or I'm just going to go and watch the Smash Brothers again. Or I'm going to turn them both on at the That's same awesome time. Too. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I meant to watch the Smash Brothers again in preparation, but I didn't get around to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got uh, to watch Genesis 1 finals between Mango Armada on like Tuesday on YouTube when I was taking a very long lunch break during work. But hmm. um, good memories, man. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wasn't around at that time, but uh, still. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we're getting started. Anyway, we got uh, DD and Quade coming in. Our winner's finals match, best of five. Just going right into it on Battlefield. And it looks like DD might actually already have a stock going. Oh, but he manages to land on the platform. I was wondering how this was going to go because it seems like both players have been wiping through their, their opponents. Yeah, they've been kind of tearing through bracket. You know they've had they've had some three ones, but nothing to game five, nothing to 
nothing to really write home about in terms yeah. of uh, opponents, but uh, you know this might be the time to, to get some really, really tight melee going on. But uh, DD does clean up a stock with only 54 percent. Yeah, nice yeah, patient game. Oh yeah, just not Quade. Definitely a very aggressive type of fox, and uh, DD just you know. Playing the slow game, playing the poke game, getting the percent where he can. Yeah, Didi's uh, waiting for that perfect moment uh, to go in. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to let let chat know that every time, for even a moment. If anyone is at 69%, Lucky is yelling in our ears. Shout it out, 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 shout it out. You got to. This is the kind of production we're working with here. <laughs> the highest level. <laughs> the highest quality. I mean, you know, normally it's like, oh, you know, it's like, oh, here, here's a stat where I'm going to feed you. Or, yeah, yeah, you know. No, no, no. Shout out the, shout out the percent, shout out the percent. <laughs> This uh, is truly collegiate melee. <laughs> At its finest. That's another thing that I've appreciated about watching college melee is that it's not that it isn't quality, it's just like it makes a bit more sense. You can see the inputs that we have on the stream. So like you can kind of oh, get yeah. into what they're thinking more than like Mango Armada where they're just like levels above your it, your it's, ability it's it's i think it's got it's got a lot of the same appeal as uh, as college sports exactly it's, it's it's in some way a lot more human you know mm -hmm. just before they they go on to achieve at higher levels of the game exactly like you see these people just on on, on the on the brink of greatness just about to break into that into that level and all of them trying to break into that level and you're like, wow, there's there's really raw talent here. For sure. Quade looking really good so far. I'm I can't believe this is still game one, actually. It feels like it's yeah. been longer. Well that's strictly well for you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh but DD just looking to clean it up, that forward air is gonna do it. And uh game one, two stack to DD. Pretty convincing wonder, as well. Yeah, exactly. I wonder what um adjustments Quade can make there. Because I feel like wow. Battlefield is one of the more neutral, more neutral spaces ones. to start out. Yeah. Well, I mean, one of those adjustments will most likely be Pokemon Stadium, <laughs> uh, which, you know, is definitely a, a, a good battle plan from Quad A. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, I think Quad A just needs to slow down. He's shown that he can be, that he's so aware of the effect that lasers can have. And he just needs to use them, I think, a lot more patiently. We saw in his set with, uh, actually, the last set we had with Druby, he was using his lasers to approach and actually using them rather aggressively a lot of the time and just mixing in defensive as a mix-up. Um, I think he kind of needs to channel the opposite here and just just put the pressure on Puff to do something. And, you know... Play a little bit of the slow game until he gets the hit, and then just ramp it into full gear. Yeah, I completely agree. I think that being a bit more patient with those lasers, you can see that Didi is a a player that picks apart the neutral. Oh, we got the post match Whoa, we have stats. stats. Whoa, Dude, this is our production value is so high. <laughs> it's so high, and it's gone before I could really read them. But you know. Something to look forward to for the next game. I hope you screenshot at them. Alright. Uh, big so start for Quade. Actually going to uh, FD, which is also, a, I think, a good pick in the matchup. Yeah, not you too have, bad. Have a lot of space to move around, a lot of space to pressure with lasers, and uh, a nice back air off the top left. And we're seeing not much of the patience that we were suggesting. Uh, wow. Quade, showing that he knows what to do. 
calculated he, he, uh, assertion, assertiveness there. He's in Winner's Finals and we're in a Discord call. So. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. He's probably not looking, <laughs> looking too hard. To give him tips. And, you know, and I, 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 I think it's just we said, oh, play more defensive. And he said, no, play more offensive. And it's just, it may have just been a, 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 a a factor of needing to commit to a, to just a style and saying I need to have a goal, I need to have a game plan that is solid and I need to commit to it and I need to control the pace of the game. Right. And, and when you have a doing. Yeah, when you have a player that has a more meticulous neutral like Didi does where he's sort of picking them apart, I guess you do have those two options. Do you close it up on defense with the lasers or do you just go all in and try to overload them a bit? And just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know you want to play your, your calculated neutral. We're going to play my neutral. Keep exactly. Up. And that definitely Which... seems to be a lower level melee move is just who's faster. Um, yeah. And I feel like both are playing at relatively similar speeds here. But <laughs> oh, just closes it oh. right back up. But oh, can't even get the, uh, the up air off that. Potentially really good smash DI from DD, but it might have just been too close to the tip. And now that, that lead that he had is just completely gone. DD wrenched back the momentum there. But it's still about even. Anything can happen. Oh, well, it's the most even it's been. Mm -hmm. But uh, Friday does have DD off stage, but unfortunately, one of the few matchups where that doesn't really mean all that much. For sure. And, it and I wonder why... Hurt. Sorry, go ahead. No, go for it. I was wondering why why FD here instead of Pokemon first. Um, it could just be a factor of uh, looking for because I think the two counter picks in this matchup are almost always uh, Stadium and FD, and you know could be personal preference, could be if, if I get this out of the way, like I just want to be back on even ground, I do this, and then I have an easy game later. On Pokemon Stadium. Right. Oh, oh God! He just <laughs> lets go of shield. Nobody respects that hitbox because nobody knows what it is. Crazy. It's a mystery to all of us. Move away from the other side of the map. But gets a back air to even it up. We have last stock here. Could not be more even right now. And now, actually, we're starting to see a little bit of this more defensive but not quite as committal as I would have liked. Mm -hmm. And he's getting back there for it. Quadding up in his head and DD is right there with him. Just barely gets shielded on that shine. So he, he he's going for these lasers and he's getting DD to approach, but he, he's kind of a little bit late in switching from lasers to punish. It's like the two modes, and it's like, how can you switch between them without getting caught? Indeed, he's finding those moments to catch him when he's trying to figure out what to do. And Very close. Didi, at this point, happy, uh, looking like he might just be out of up throw up air percent, but I don't think that's right. I think Kote might just be dropping. Gets the wrong back air. Gonna be oh, oh, that's the back air. That'll do it. 2-0 on a game that looked like it belonged to Quade. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, and he's got a big old hill left to climb. Rest is uh, in some ways the the great equalizer. <laughs> uh, right when you uh, think you yeah. have it, it's all gone. Yeah, for sure. And. Ready, go! Up to Yoshi. Picks to Yoshi's. Uh, I don't... Well, I don't know how I feel about that. I... Because... Um, I understand maybe. it. I understand it. Like, if one doesn't work, you go for a different approach. It's a very short stage. Um, yeah, bring the barrier thing. Keeps it from... the edge guards here. Yeah. They're so good for Puff. Mm -hmm. and he's off stage. That's that's just dead. 
whenever I think of when you're gone, yeah. Whenever I think of Puff Fox on Yoshi's, it just takes me back to Mango H Box Evo. Was that 2015? Um, uh, beautiful. Just the rest. Oh, I thought he yeah. could drop that. Oh my god. But it does connect the up air, so and it just to complete the trade. Not again. But he's looking lost. It just gets an up smash. Nothing more. Nothing less. Ah, oh, this is. Oh, what day? Not this. Not like this. That'll do it. He gave up. He gave up. Yeah. You could see it in his eyes. That was a defeated man. I think he oh. still had some spirit there in the end, but after a few more. After like two the, rests, the he was done. Rest, was, yeah. Oh, yes. Lovely. Let's get to the stats. Stats, here we go. Okay. Um, so the big one that I'm seeing is 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 Puff doing so much more damage than Fox. That's pretty normal. Mm -hmm. uh, average kill percents look fine. Neutral wins, yeah, whatever. Jigglypuff with more inputs per minute than Fox. Hmm. Wow. Interesting. Jigglypuff most technical character in the game? Question mark. <laughs> I think maybe. That, that's a lot of inputs per minute, actually. That's actually his pain and weight. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot of buttons. <laughs> Does he have, like, two control sticks? Two controllers? I think... I... But I wonder... Is this for the, the full set or for just one game? Okay, this is just, just for the last, the last game. game but... Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. I think I think we might have something big here. I think I think I think Lucky might might be compiling all three games. I think you figured it out. Stream, we got something coming. We got something coming. We got something coming. So we have the stats. Now we have oh. the big stats. The big stats from the full set. The Beautiful big stats. <laughs> yeah. Consistently, that last game was a minute and sixteen seconds. I mean, it was shorter. That's what <laughs> Potter wanted, right? <laughs> I guess, yeah. Um, okay. This is a f puff. I have not seen that ever. That's. Yeah, the gap just widens. I feel like the ratios are all very similar, um, but showing that when it counted, when he got him, more damage per opening just slightly, but especially in that last match, it all led to rests. But uh, remembering back to the FD game, um, just those pokes and then getting to the right punish where he'd be able to push him out off stage and Quade yeah. couldn't get back. I just, I, I do think it's a matchup. We're looking at the stats, doesn't tell you all that much. Because, I mean, you're looking for very different things out of the two of them, right? Like, you look at highest damage punish, you're like 45.4% for Puff. You're like, that's great. 45.7 for Fox. Eh. You know? Yeah, yeah, like, that's right. You kind, of, you kind of want your highlight one to be like 60. And then to be getting 40s on the regular. Exactly, you're right. I feel like Quade just had to raise higher. Um, like, you know, there's the phrase of, did, did Didi beat Quade or did Quade lose to Didi? And in some ways, it's exactly the same thing. Um, but I feel like Didi was yeah. <laughs> more able to pick apart Quade rather than um, Quade going with that more definite game plan like you were talking about earlier in the middle of the and set. And also, Didi just didn't lose composure. I think that's mm -hmm. the big thing. You saw that game too, where that was a quad eight game. Cool, calm, and collected all the way through. Which, I mean, I think we all know this, but to play Jigglypuff, you have to have that clutch factor. 
you have mm-hmm. to be able to say, yeah, I'm down, but this is still my game. Exactly. And that, and that, we, that we, crush, it's, it's a mix between a, a wrenching of the momentum and just crushing his spirit. I felt like after each rest, uh, there was a little less um, composure. Life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Life structure. Um that came with the fox. He tried to to go, take it to Yoshi's, where it's a bit more volatile. Um, things can get a little crazy, but Didi is a madman. Uh, completely took over there. Anyway, moving on. Coming up next, we are going to have a match between. I don't know how ready it is. It might still be a minute or two, but we're going to have a match between Jamie and Piano Bench. Most likely a Falco Ditto. One yeah. stream's favorite, Mr. Jamie. And a bench we have not seen yet, but uh, looks like he's been working his way through the losers bracket uh, into this losers quarterfinal. So this is going to be loser gets seventh along with. Sorry, I'm crazy. Loser gets fifth, uh, along with Drewby, the gaming watch we were watching a bunch earlier. So yeah, excited for some spacey dittos. Yes, sir. I've decided that Jamie's my hero of this bracket. Ah, Jamie's your hero? As a as a fellow Falco. I, 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 I do I, think that by how the stream's going, Jamie is the protagonist of this event. <laughs> and we'll see if he comes back stronger next time. But I want him to take this one, especially his game versus, um, was that McDunzo, the Ganon? McDunzo. Uh, started off a little shaky, wasn't able to f- figure out the game, but by... Game four, that movement was nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's actually kind of, if Jimmy wins this, he's got a rematch with McDunzo coming up. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. The <laughs> narrative's all coming together, man. And, uh, you know, I mean, if we bring the narrative all the way to its final, he certainly, Jimmy, would like uh, another shot at Didi, who knocked him into losers uh, in the grand finals. So. Mm-hmm. He's gonna it's, be looking for that, but you know, piano bench right now could just quash the whole story. Say, no, 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 I'm the hero today. I play Falco too. I'm the good guy. I might see a documentary coming out about weekly number one for winter 2020. <laughs> oh, Powerful okay. storylines. Powerful storylines. Piano right. bench. As I've been watching this bracket, just as a just just as a bracket. Piano Bench has been a chaotic force who has showed up close to the end of um, uh, call time for almost every match. Uh, has DQ'd I think three times. Oh. <laughs> but just been lucky enough to uh, have two of them be against other people who DQ'd. So he continued on. Our lucky loser of the day. But let's see yeah. if he can show up. <laughs> now he's in top top five. <laughs> and he has actually won matches. Yeah, so. yeah. But they have both joined the lobby. We are waiting on the broadcast for one moment. And we will bring that to you ASAP. All right, here we go. Who knows what stage we might start on? Yes. It could be anything. Yeah, these Falco Dittos, it's just a matter of personality. I think a Falco Ditto should start on Dreamland. Hmm. That's just my personal preference. Why? I just, I think it equally favors the FD Falcos and the Yoshi's Falcos, which I think are kind of the two dominant forces. Yeah, definitely. That makes so much sense. I hadn't thought about it that way. I just, you know, because I just, I mean, obviously FD Falcos can't go to FD anyway. I just, I feel like it's it's the most neutral force because it's a lot of space, but also Mm -hmm. it's got the platforms for combos and Half the time you're you're on half the stage boxing anyway. Yeah, it's a good stage for 
spaces to get to know each other, uh, break That's out neutral a little bit. I think it's a great game one stage. Mm-hmm. If Wispy, if go there. right, right, we're kind of just man. If Wispy <laughs> going wasn't there, what a great stage it would be. If Wispy didn't exist, I would be on Dreamland every game. Yeah, against anybody, it's just something about him blowing I one think, way I, or I the mean, other. I mean, we we can turn Wispy off at this point. Like, I don't know. Like, I wish I we don't know why we don't. Like, what what depth does Wispy blowing one way or the other add to the game apart from messing with your? Directional inputs in the air and on the ground. It's true. Randall adds depth, adds creativity, adds fun. Wispy is annoying. Is a tree. But that's the thing. It's like you're on one side of the stage, and then Wispy notes that you're on that side of the stage and then bothers you. So you go to the other side, and then Wispy follows you to the other side and bothers you over there. I just need space. Let me play the game. It's, It's... Randall is consistent. Mm-hmm. Wispy is consistently annoying. Yep. Randall smiles. Uh, so for those who don't know, uh, just some hot tips about Yoshi's story. So for the first couple minutes of the game, Randall will indeed follow the elephant in the background. So sometimes if you don't know where Randall is, you just follow the elephant. It will desync, I believe, after like four minutes, you'll start to see like noticeable desync. But before then, the elephant will be walking around and will indicate what side Randall is going to. Fun fact. That knowledge, deep knowledge on, on Yoshi's from Lucky. I really just paid attention to the, the timestamps. I think it's like twos and fives that I usually try to pay attention to. I just, I, I, I consider Randall a blessing. He's either there or he's not. I I, I, put... I think I think his mysterious nature should be respected. <laughs> you just put your hope out into the universe, and if Randall comes exactly. out, as the game saying, uh, we have blessed you. Sometimes, if I know I'm not going to make it back, I just I just teleport to uh, I play Sheik. I just I just poof over to you know where Randall might come out, and I say, please, <laughs> please be nice to me. Give me oh, this God's one this song. world. <laughs> I've done so much for you. You can give me one solid, please. <laughs> Little did we know, it was just the elephant in the background who is the mastermind behind it all. Kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Randall's Oz, and uh, the elephant is just that short little old man that comes out <laughs> and ruins the mystique. <laughs> is so funny. I choose to believe in Randall, though. Choose to believe in Randall. <laughs> I, I respect what he stands for. <laughs> he gives the people hope. He gives the people hope. He gives me hope. I wonder how much, in terms of stages, like, which stages do you think embody the the spirit of melee because i feel like yoshi's is the, i think it's yoshi's the paragon for me yeah i think i think it perf because it's 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 kind of weird it's got these weird slanted angles the platforms kind of hang off the edge um but also at at its core it's 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 very what it needs to be and then there's just randall for flavor and yeah. I think that's melee. Right? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I couldn't have said it better myself. That's melee. <laughs> and perfect timing, we got Falco did us. Which is also melee to a T. We're gonna see lots of wonderful things, I hope, uh, from Jamie and Piano Bench. I've they seen seem Jamie and Piano yet. I have not seen Piano Bench. <laughs> Stream here, you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not repeating that one. <laughs> Lucky has a, a uh, colorful sense of humor. 
uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So we just we get to laugh at his jokes. Well, you get to wonder what they might be. <laughs> Adding that mystery, right? Yeah, that's the spirit of melee people. So I think they chose Fountain of Dreams for their starter, completely disregarding oh, everything we've talked about for the last few minutes. Um, I, well, I hate this stage. Oh, I, I like it. I think it's beautiful, think it's... nice to look at, but when it comes to the, the gameplay, it's just like, what do it, you it's, do? It, There's... It's, it, it is weird. I might mm -hmm. be biased, because again, I play Sheik, so I'm, I'm supposed oh. to like Fountain. True, <laughs> true. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's 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 very improvisational. It's hard to have like mm -hmm. like set plans for Fountain of Dreams. Oh, I love, I love, I love the world. Un unpredictable. What an unpredictable world. In the world spirit of melee. Live. In the spirit of melee. <laughs> Midwest. Midwest. So unfortunately, Piano Bench having to DQ themselves uh, because of a laggy connection. That's just the way Slippy is sometimes. Yeah. It makes sense. You, you know, if, especially if you're on stream, you want to play your best, show off your best. Because we are, you know, reposting these on the YouTubes. We're going to clip them. So you want to be able to show your stuff, show yourself at your full power. Yeah. Make the world proud. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, very unfortunate. So we might just be moving on to Jamie McDunzo. Beautiful. Which, as I said earlier, would be a phenomenal tag. Yes, absolutely. So we're getting right back to our narrative, right back to... This is that point in the documentary where it's like showing the bracket movements and it completely like skips a game because it's not important to the hero's narrative. That doesn't matter, right? Yeah, It just exactly. matters where they are. Mm -hmm. Which, not to say that this isn't going to... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's really just... <laughs> we just canceled <laughs> that game. Like, no, no, no. We'll just we'll just say he won. Jamie's journey. Here we go. Really kind of looking like the the world's on Jamie's side here. I'm like, excited. You, know, you don't you don't even have to play. You win. You've earned it. <laughs> That's plot armor. That's plot armor. <laughs> but I wonder what McDunzo has learned from their their match earlier in winners it was it was uh similar to to Didi and how he wrenched momentum uh Jamie took that momentum from that first game that McDunzo had taken um and made it his own i felt like each uh so each next game i feel like grammatically that's not correct but each next game um Jamie each won by even more had even more subsequent thank you uh one yeah. with even more confidence like, and swagger. For it. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to say sequential, but that didn't quite make sense. Eh, good enough. The people know what you're talking about. Exactly. Thank you, people. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the people. You know who you are. <laughs> <sighs> and so at this point, I guess we're just waiting on the... on McDunzo who probably was not expecting that set to be quite so fast. Probably going to grab some snacks or you know, meditate yeah. for a little bit. Hello, everyone. Sure. Lucky, Lucky. Luckstruck 9 Lie just here to give a quick update. Uh, McDonzo is probably going to get prepared. Uh, I, as everyone said, McDonzo is probably not ready for that match to end so quickly. Uh, looks like they're going to start begin very momentarily. McDunzo 3 owed Drewby. McDunzo 2 won eBay. McDunzo 2 owed Lucian a Falcon. And so, and but uh, McDunzo yeah, was like... actually knocked into losers by Jammy. 3-1. Yeah. So, McDunzo, I mean, just burning passion to, to get back at Jam for that set, which looked totally winnable for McDunzo, by the way. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, so, Really, you know, you, you see the, 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 the fire in his just straight path through losers. Uh, Jamie, 
You know, it, uh, McDunza might just be a roadblock for him on his path through this black bracket, but uh, McDunza might have something to say about that. Yeah, Jamie's jamming. I don't know if Mc... that made sense. <laughs> I thought it made perfect sense. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Jamie is jamming, and McDunzo wants to end his run. I think it's just a pure rage. Wants to, wants uh, to make him done. Yes, yes. Perfect yeah, ending. That's the one. <laughs> Thank you for finding the the words that aren't <laughs> coming to my brain. What else am I there? What else am I here for? <laughs> That's the it's job. The beauty of commentary, co-commentators. <laughs> it's commentaries. Are... Yo, this cube is sick. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm I do occasionally time. just 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 get lost, like just just staring into it and forget to commentate for a while. <laughs> just ooh, it comes apart, it goes together. It comes apart, it goes together. It comes apart, it goes together. And when the in the when the game starts and it's still up there, sometimes I think it's like me, like in my head, still visualizing the cube oh, uh, before it cuts so out. Deep. That's so deep. Shout outs to GameCube. Sure, yeah. Shout outs <laughs> to the GameCube. It's pretty cool. Uh, mostly because it has melee on it. Sir. I, I think for me that's that's its main achievement. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. There are some other good games. <laughs> it's it's having game. melee. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any like big GameCube games or, or other games that you played beside melee? Um, I think the only GameCube play game besides Melee I ever really got into was Metroid Prime. Nice, nice. Um, yeah, that, and then that's you know I'm one. I'm I'm kind of I'm a little younger than that, so I kind of I grew up with the Wii. You know mm. how it is. That's Actually, fair. I play I back I, I play Melee on my Wii, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it works. Yeah, I'm close to this thing. Mm -hmm. I started out with GameCube. I think my first game was Luigi's Mansion. Uh, mm, yeah, that's actually how I learned yeah. to read. Um, oh, I had really? no idea how the game worked. I was like four or five, and my dad just sat me down, and he was like, this word is blah, 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 blah. And we'd watch and like play the game together. Um, Man, that's cool. And then eventually, yeah, yeah, good memories. That's I still have it. cool vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> It really just made me scared as hell, like my entire life. <laughs> uh, I mean, when you're four, you, Luigi's Mansion is definitely a horror game. Like every encounter with a ghost is a jump scare, bro. <laughs> like, why did that? Why did they give that game to a four-year-old for, for his birthday? <laughs> uh, I beat it eventually. I just remember when I was like when I was like nine. And all I wanted was uh, was Super Smash Brothers Brawl, because mm. all my friends had it and they played it all the time, and 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 you know my parents were very much in that in that mm, violent video games mm, camp. Yep. So yep. it was like it was like hmm, you want to buy a fighting game? Why do you want to fight? I was like, uh huh, <laughs> <laughs> uh huh, uh -huh. and also because. Because Brawl was rated um, E10. Brawl was rated T because of Snake. Really? Because Snake was in it, and he has guns and he smokes. Really? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was E10 because so... that's how I convinced my parents to get it. I guess I just lied. Because <laughs> I think all the other Smash games are E10, but it's just um, just Brawl it was T, I think. Hmm. I thought it was the like... reverse, like melee was T, and then. But anyway, history, many moons anyway, ago. For now, we have warm ups. We've done so kind of going off the tech scale. Yeah, we're gonna right groove in both of them. So, uh, game one, I think we'll be on. Well, I don't know where were we last time. Battlefield. Okay, we'll be on Battlefield. Which we were on Dreamland last time, according to my uh, memory. Yeah. Just check bracket.
Yeah, Battlefield's a bit more neutral. Uh, yeah. That true neutral beginning. It looks like they're ready to go. So we'll see it's how... It's one of those things where, like, isn't it... Aren't there places where they don't really consider Battlefield neutral? Uh, and I would say for Falco Ganon, it's all, like, Falco favored. Um, of course. With the few memories I have as a, a former, former Ganon main, I, right. you just feel kind of lost on everywhere that doesn't have platforms. So the tri oh, yeah. where you feel most comfortable, especially when there's more more ability to move around. Uh, and I, I, feel I remember like... game two last time of uh, this matchup it was on FD, and McDunzo was just, it was just get me out of here. Oh, McDunzo! Yeah. Oh, no. After such a strong McDunzo. start, too. Okay, we're getting it back. Yeah, there's lots that can and can do here. It's just a matter of how well can Falco take command of neutral. Um, because otherwise you just get either a huge fist or a huge leg in your face. Yeah, it's... it's That's the game plan for Ganon, is just get up and punch him. <laughs> and so far, it's kind of working. It's a pretty good stock job. Up. But I haven't really seen Jammy start to turn on the gas like he did last set yet, so I'm still kind of waiting on that. Just get a nice dunk, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty even so far, it looks like. Similar to the the game one that they had in their last set earlier this evening, uh, but Jammy started to remember how broken back airs are. Uh, yeah. He's just walling him out. It's so good. Gets and as Ganon, all you need is that that raw forward air, but um, Jammy isn't letting him breathe. You just, I mean, if you if you're behind Ganon, Ganon's just struggling, you know. All you have is up air, and it just it takes so long to get behind you. Yeah, because it's exactly. just slow move already, and then you're waiting on the last hitbox. Yeah, back here's legit, but Ooh, not quite the same. Giving McDunzo a little bit of a chance here. Ooh. Is the forward air? Ah, oh, that could have been something. That could have been it. Man. Ooh. Yeah. Just sneaks that back air in. Efficient. That's well, well done by here. Jammy that game. Yeah, yeah Jamie like... 1-0. Go ahead. Oh, uh, just Jamie 1-0. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I, I think McDunzo is so close in some of these moments where he gets Jamie down. It's just a matter of completing the read or the tech chase after he gets knocked down. Like, how will you react? But otherwise, Jamie quite smart, jamming him up. <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> I'm on to you. The wordplay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just rounds him out the back, ducks him into the middle box. So oh, that could have been the cleanup, but that angle straight up. Just drifts back to the ledge. There's not much McDonald's can do about that. You just don't have the mobility to cover everything, as Skinner. Mm -hmm. Jammy's kind of abusing that on the recoveries. Yeah, and I can understand the Dreamland pick here. You want a little bit more oh. space. Ooh, Absolutely. great tech. I saw that, that option uh, last match. I was a little bit confused by it. The, um, the jump up, land, uh, wizard's foot. <laughs> uh, kind of kind of biting him in the back there. Yeah, it's a bit of a mix-up the first time, but the second time it's like, oof. Yeah. And that's the other thing. On a lot of t tech chases against Ganon, you can just roll away. And yep. you just can't get there in time. <laughs> you can hope with his side B or with Wizards, but for the most part, yeah, yeah but it's, it's, it's just... Far. 
And also, like, you know, you get you get a wizard's foot, and then, you know, it's probably not going to kill, and then it doesn't set up for anything, and it's not really all that great. Yeah, you just gotta watch Kage and Nunvods for, for inspiration. I mean, you can't play, you play, can't play Ganon if you're not reading your opponent. Yeah. That's all you have. <laughs> Brings him up the back, dunks him again. Jamie just playing the matchup, uh, doing quite well. Oh. Dunzo not able to convert whenever he gets that one hit. It's really important opening. And Jim, Jamie goes to town. That should have been it, but it's not. You gotta grab the ledge, bud. <laughs> Back to those grab lucky ledge. tip from earlier. No, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He thought he was Mango, he thought he was the kid. But, uh, it does look like Jamie might just clean us up right here. Seriously. It's another backer, still not able to kill. Uh, oh my gosh. Just grab it! Just grab it and back air! It's right there. That's all you gotta do. Uh. It's like, it's like from Spongebob. Perfect. Firmly Don't. grasp it. Just grab it! <laughs> oh, finally. Oh. Little Jamie shaky. really needs to, to grasp that ledge, I think. You know, like a, a wave dash back. But he cleans it up drop. anyway. There's, there's a million ways to get there. You can just walk. <laughs> you can just, just walk and fall off and turn around. It's it's Ganon, you have time. <laughs> you could you could run off and do an upbeat. He's not the quickest character. He's, he's, in fact, perhaps the slowest. <laughs> but Jamie's telling us, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. He's still winning, he's still up too well. Oh, let's go! Great tech. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look who grabbed it. Big Dunzo grabbing the edge. Knowing how the, that's Showing how he can get the edge. Showing superior strategy. <laughs> These little adjustments, you know. Like... Learning where the edge is and how to grasp it. He grabbed the edge. He didn't need to that time, but he did. We grab thing when it's unnecessary. Ooh. Honestly, that might just be taunting us. <sighs> that laser was so good. This is a bit closer. I feel like McDonald's has got the good game. That'll do it. Fight. Just gets the little little kick. Shot is out of there. Wow. Did you see him weave through those lasers? Considering how like huge a, Ganon uh, is, wow. He's like a spy. Going through those, uh, <laughs> those laser mazes to grab. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a cat thief. I don't mm -hmm. know who does those. I'm trying to remember of like who's the, the iconic spy to get through the you know the lasers, but I can't think the of lasers, any. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Does Batman do maybe that? Maybe it's maybe it's just maybe it's just Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible. Ocean's thirteen. Ocean's there was that one episode of the backyard again. <laughs> Ocean Ocean's Ocean's 13? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that, There's like the... Isn't that Ocean's 11? Oh, you're right. That's Ocean's 11. I thought it was 11. <laughs> There's so many. There's too many numbers. I, 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 I really... I felt like I was on a trip there. <laughs> like... Whichever one is the first one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's 11. I wonder what... Well... Oh. Ooh, great it's tech there. It's just that option is crazy. Man, refuses to lose. Great down Just smash down instead smash. of grabbing the ledge. So and I know are that's other like options. that's like the the default um, SDI tech is Falco down smash at the ledge, but it's so hard. It's pretty difficult, I and just, you know, and doing it on reaction is crazy. Oh, that's Jared's just like it's over. That's You're just McDunzo. That's just it. 
He just says, no, 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 I'm done playing. <laughs> We're over. Moving on. Next game, please. We are not going to a game four. This is mine. I'm the protagonist. And uh, yeah, fourth place to McDunzo. Congratulations to you. Yeah, but, some uh, really solid play. Yeah, that was a quick 3-0. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not, mm, not a quick 3-0. Some stats, drama stats. in there. But. Call that a close. I can call that a close 3-0. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. <laughs> the closest of... Th- especially in that last game, I think it was in McDonzo's uh, hands. That last game, Jemmy just stole it. Mm-hmm. He fumbled wow. the ball. Or fumbled the I, ball. I must oh. say, look at that percent. Oh my god. The durability of McDonzo. Because- yeah, living on average to 143. But at the same Back. time, I think that just goes to show how great grabbing the ledge would have been. And at some point in there, Falcon did a 97% punish, which Ooh. that's impressive. Yeah, that's one of those you aim for. Uh, that's a clippy moment for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, and, I think this is showing. And a ninety-seven showing... percent combo probably was also a kill. <laughs> you have to hope. Uh, yeah. It could have been one of the Dreamland games where he he just Although made it, it back it from good. the ether. Oh wait, they're the same school. Oh, so they probably played uh, before then. University of South Florida. Yeah, they've probably played. Shoutouts to USF. Yeah, they're kind of showing up today. Mm-hmm. And I think they were doing pretty well in the in the cruise last week too. That sounds right. Players. And next match we have is it losers semis or losers finals? Losers finals. Okay. It's, uh, Jamie and Quade. All right. So let's see who takes it back to Didi uh, in some, Grand. Some Fox Falco. I mean, but. Sitting in Grands is that 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 beast of Didi. Three one over Jamie, three over Quade. Yeah, this is that match where you can get your hands They're, really warm, move at the speed of light. I so mean, that they, when you these get guys to are both looking for their redemption here. Yeah, absolutely. Both of them taking apart. Um, Didi too strong uh, in winners, but let's see if if they can bring it back. One of them, I think, will. Take this momentum that they get from how fast uh, Spacey's dittos are, um, and try to bring that speed to to fighting DD. I agree. I uh, agree. Yeah, there's been some weirder, or not weirder, just less common um, matchups with a a good game and watch with McDunzo in the bracket. Um, so getting back to this classic one before we go to Spacey's puff. Uh, Will be a nice return to normal. The bread and butter, the the meat and potatoes of melee is is Fox Falco. So yeah, this should be a good match. Again, we're back to uh, space potatoes. Got the Fox Falco. Could be some high octane gameplay, and uh, hopefully maybe not a wash Rio. But uh, just watching their hand warmers for now. Huge movement from both of them. They've used Uncle Punch. Right on the dot at 10 p.m. We're good to go. Wow. Thanks to them for uh, being so convenient with the timing. <laughs> and Eyes on go. the clock. Right on battlefield. A nice neutral start. And I'm mean, just wave dashing and shining in the middle. What more can you ask for in life? <laughs> Can we catch him? Trapping him a bit, but Quade with that quick shine of the shield. Oh, just barely misses that laser. That would have been a stock for sure. 
Did the up throw? Because the tech chases on the platform are a good spot dodge to, uh, to miss the up there. Body trying to catch his bearings after being down by quite a lot of percentage, but bringing it back. So, one of the things that Jemmy. Ooh, that was clean. One of the things that Jemmy really likes to do, that I've been seeing in a lot of sets, is this. Okay. Uh, is. He, he, he will go. If he's towards the edge, he will run off and then double jump back and uh, double laser. Which I think is something Quade might catch on to, because uh, in his previous games, I saw him seeing stuff like that. Because that it is a bit of a risky activity to be doing. Yeah, for you're, sure. You're burning your double jump off stage, and as Falco, if you get hit out of that, you're dead. Percent okay. doesn't matter. Exactly. In Quade, we now can adjust. But right here, it looks like Jamie has the upper hand so far. Yeah, a little bit of a recovery flub from Quade there. See. Quite in taking these spaces where it looks like he's just trying to get into the motion he needs, get used to the game. Jammy coming fresh off that McDunzo set, so he's good to go. But touching him in the right moments, the follow ups off of the up throws. Not able to quite finish it off. Yeah. Um, Jammy's just, he's really holding. The uh, the stage control away from Quade. Can't clear that last out. Few That's gonna hurt. But it does get the stack there. Last few neutral interactions I feel like have been in Quade's favor, but as soon as Jamis starts to take control, he finishes Ooh, it off. Ooh. I felt that one. A lot quicker. Yeah, there's something about his down smash that just hurts a lot more than some of his other moves. You yeah, feel the impact. It's, it's just, and the angle is just atrocious. Ah, oh, that just... I think he thought he'd be facing the other direction. Unfortunately. For a back air, gets the forward air and just dies for it. A little bit up one in game, game to Jammy. Unfortunately, Lucky is uh, out at the moment, so the score's not going to be updated, but uh, we can remember. It's one game to Jammy. 1-0 oh, oh, in our heads, 1-0 oh, in our hearts. It'll show up on the scoreboard eventually. Yes. But a quick go back to Yoshi's. No breath for, for either of them. Quadi's just ready to play. Yeah, and I like this pick. Um, obviously, Yoshi's a stage. Uh, Jammy won game one. Alright, Lucky is back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. Shine for disrespect. Good, good, good stock for, uh, for Quad Day. And also, just saying, I like this pick a lot. Um, even though a lot of Falcons are quite comfortable on this stage, Quad Day has really been kind of the main push in aggressor in this matchup. And this stage is definitely going to favor that sort of play style. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, not so much the, the more laser focused Jamie. Who will grab the ledge? Grab the ledge! At 69%, you're welcome, Lucky. <laughs> and just as soon as it was here, it left us. The jam and not uh, leaving us. It was there, and we know. <laughs> those who were here, we were here for something special. Remember those moments. And that out there. Quadi doesn't like us paying attention to that percent, deleting that stock. Yeah. Not enough. We need more like uh, 150. But Jamie answered right back, cleaning up that stack even after out our game. And again, you see that runoff double laser, which has been netting him quite a lot, to be fair. But I'm I'm scared every time he does it. Interesting how, with less space, it feels like Quadi has more control. Oh, that laser turnaround up tilt. It's beautiful. Ooh. Whiffs a forward smash, and unfortunately he was in smash attack charge, so that's probably what killed him there. Forward smash did terrify me a little bit, but nice up tilt. 
Yeah. I'm just crouching. But uh, it doesn't actually get quite a bit on the, on the roll. Oh, what? Tries for another shine, gets a side beam instead. And gets the back air, cleans it up. We got a last stock situation here. Terrence, well, it's trying to just take it. Not so much patience. Just let me catch you with this one move and end it all. Well, dude, definitely got the got the percent going on. The jammy knows. He gets that one that one good hit, which he just got. He can clean this whole thing up. Catching him in shield twice, catching him with those last stock nerves, and just throwing him off. Get out of here. I wonder if Jamie's listening to us. He's 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 grabs uh, the ledge like three times in this game. I mean, I appreciate the evolution. <laughs> he really is our pro character. He's growing in front of our eyes. He's growing character development. <laughs> So proud. Bring it right back to Yoshi's now. Yeah, and I think that this is a smart choice by Quade. Just take it right yeah, back. Yeah, it's 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 not the stage. It's it's, it's really just uh He he's he's getting one touch all the wrong moments. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a mental uh, block. Goes for Randall, very smart. Ooh. Just slams the up smash. And Randall just and coolly smiling in the background. The other thing, right, is that every time Friday's taking a stock, Jammy's right back. He just pounds one away immediately. Mm -hmm. Just like that. with his stanky leg. I love that move. I think it's so funny. Just ugh. I think it's funnier on Ganon, but Falcos is pretty good too. Yeah, Falcos is alright. Ganon's got a real stank. Gets his combo going, and that'll do it. Yeah, this punish big game has been so good. Oh. What? Did Qu is Quadet giving up? Did they. They yeah, there was a moment where they stopped, but I thought that maybe that was just them. Wait, no. <laughs> Did Jeb, Jeb would say, are you all right, bro? What's going on? Kind of just a hand on the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like, you need Fox, something? It's going to be okay. It's just the game, man. What are we watching? Turning into a boxing match. He's done 43% in jabs. Uh, yeah, I wonder what happened. I, I do too. <laughs> Maybe they'll restart the game. Looks like the lag was a little wonky too. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, I wish I could tell you what's happening. But I cannot tell you what's happening. Yeah, this is a lot easier with an IRL tournament where you can just see like the the players fighting with each other. Ready, uh, go. Now it's just kind of conjecture. Yeah, it's, it's it looks like they're replaying. So they All right. Have been a decent yeah. So game three did not exist. We're now in the real game three. No, this is game three. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is the first game three. There'll be another game three. <laughs> I guess he even said I'm uh, should, should be replayed. And uh, Bade, strong start, but uh, Jammy's got his hit. Oh, I love Ooh, that. well done. That was so creative. I really yeah, looking two dead shot guys out of five. Looking similar to the last game and um, how it started, where Quadi gets the first stock, Jamie brings it back. He he got confused by the the shot guys. He would have gotten that shot. <laughs> I guarantee it. Just. Yeah. 
I mean, it's, it, it, it really is just, just, uh, yeah, he... Randall just smiling, taunting him. Oh, you're too Randall, like, am I on time? <laughs> I'm here, I got you. Oh, what, you missed yeah, not, bro. Oh, just go further, bro. Oh, good back there. Just catches him. But he does get to go to Randall. Randall's there for his buddy Fox. Randall, the agent of the house. Oh. Jeremy uh, really can't get this stock off. He just needs one little touch, Final and there fairness. we go. But that's... Just things kept not quite doing it. Oh, that's huge! That's so huge! Such a different game than what we've seen the past two. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no! You hate to see it. Yeah. That's almost a mirror of, wasn't it, uh, game one, where Quade did the same? Um, yeah, I think so. The, well, the, the tables have turned. one, Jimmy. Now he's on his counter pick. Just got to clear his head. Okay. Turn the sure half table. Back to FOD. Game of, or stage of pure randomness with those side platforms. Yeah. Jammy getting a little stuck up there on the top platform. <laughs> I had it in my head, but I was like, do I say it? Listen, I'll do it for you sometimes. Hurry with the bravery. I admire you. Close calls here for Jamie. It's not bravery, it's a lack of shit. <laughs> Sometimes it's the same thing. Oh, that's not gonna oh, it just doesn't grab the ledge. What do you have to say for yourself, Quade? Quade is starting to move, taking f almost like what feels like full control. Uh, it's the grab. Jemmy really, yeah, the momentum is swinging in his favor. Yeah. He's, down. He's not making it through those platforms but both times. I'm smash out of nowhere. I taste up two stocks. And this was Jemmy's counter pick, so. Yeah. I, I don't know that I see this counter pick too, much, too, too often from Falcos. Um, I. It doesn't make sense to me at all, but again. <laughs> Jammy's in Loser's Finals, and, and I'm on the couch, so... <laughs> but it's not, not quite working out for him, I wonder what the plan was here. Yeah, um, but it could absolutely still happen, you seem Jammy go crazy, go wild. Yeah. Mega Is the forward smash? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, almost. Just wasn't able to finish his food. You know, if he'd have waited another second, that up would have been okay. Yeah, that shield drop, he knew it was coming, but... Cause he d yeah. No, Lucky, I will not shout it out. <laughs> I have dignity, unlike some people. Both dignity and a lack of shame. I, it's not impressive, it's sad. Oh, it gets back with the forward air, very brave, but still gets punished for it. That's Something sweet up tilt country. music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that's short. Yeah. Or, or, <laughs> quite a going right at him. You know, here's the thing. Sending a right? message. If Jamie had gone for a real recovery, I think Quades would have hit him up and he could have recovered. I agree. So the fact that he, he didn't didn't try made him lose. Quade knew. Going to Pokemon Stadium, which makes more sense, but also this is kinda like Fox's stage. Hmm. You know? Yeah. The punish game here. Kinda feel Chain like a FD would have been maybe a better pick. Yeah, I wonder. 
I know there's the chain grab to worry about, but um, that can happen just... on FD too. Yeah, exactly. But uh, you know, the the fox was beeping up, but a lot of quite a bit on the platform, so maybe having those less present here will be helpful. Maybe to jam. Which already it's a lot more even than the last two games have been. Yeah, exactly. That additional space helping out Jamie for sure. There's a lot of these forward airs from Ledge that have been working out surprisingly well from Jamie. Oh. Bad trade. Bad trade. Yeah. yeah Jamie holding forward a bit, Quade reacting well. <laughs> Ooh. Forward air grab. That was so oh. It's still going. Okay. That was such a cool sequence. Okay, Quade, you're getting it. Cool. <laughs> that was a moment of beauty by Quade. Yeah. That was wild. And he's saying, I'm still here, though. And he's saying, yeah, you can be cool all you want, but you gotta kill me. Yeah. That's how winning works. Another college me melee versus pro melee moment. It's like you get those great combos, beautiful combos for the clips, but can you finish it off? Can you turn it into a conversion? Yeah. It's hard. Like, it really is hard. It, this game is because, hard. Because, you know, like, when people are being combo, they're maybe not trying to avoid the next hit of the combo every time, but they're, they're, they're just trying to die. Mm -hmm. That's the number one goal in everyone's mind. Always when they're being combo. And you just gotta, exactly. you gotta force yourself past that and say, no, no, no. You die here. Ooh. And after such a stylish combo down a, a stock? Yeah. Because he still hasn't closed up the stock from that combo. He did it right there, but. Jamie, Jamie seizing the opportunity to, uh, to even things up. Yeah, Jamie had been a bit more patient earlier in the game, but now that he's got the lead, he's going after him. He he's getting knocked down, getting the chases. Ah, uh, doesn't get the roll in, that would certainly have been it. Oh, was in his head. And... Ooh. Ooh, that was so close. Back air would have done it. Yep. You can understand the desire to down air, but... Well, it also, it, like, very well may have been a miss. Oh, true. It happens all the time. Yeah. And we can see the controllers, so... You can see yeah, what they might have been going little accidents. I don't even know what movie used for that. <laughs> but we're down to last stock, game five. This is what we're looking for. Get hype. Yeah, we've had everything in this right set. into that up tilt. Clean 46. Neck and neck. Some nerves involved for sure. These situations where they're just sitting next to each other in shield, Quade is winning every time. Just has the exact right time and the gym is gonna move, and he uh, he just gets his shine out. But regardless of that, he's still sitting at a hundred percent. One back air is really gonna put him in a bad position. Oh. Side B, why? Not sure what the plan was there. He was going nuts. All he needs is one back here. Oh! Phantom Shine. Oh. The Phantom Shine kind of did it. If that Shine hit, I don't think Jammy dies there. Yeah, I agree. But Quade taking advantage wow. of a wonky, wonky melee moment and uh, no, no, no. pulling it All out. On the plan. All on the plan. <laughs> did and it for goes. extra percent. <laughs> there goes our golden boy, Jammy, my hero for this yeah. bracket. <laughs> Quade, bringing up a huge reverse 3-0. Yeah, that was incredible. Especially after such a, a heartbreaking, potentially, Game 3 where there was the desync. He, he pulled it out. Yeah. Um, a little bit of weirdness there, but I think everyone's okay with how it turned out. I'm sure, you know, 
I'm sure Jamie not super stoked about the whole situation, but this is, you know, the, the world of, of online and slippy and whatever. Mm -hmm. And he still had some good moments, you know, third place. Third uh, place, very strong performance. Mm -hmm. Had some very strong sets, beat some very strong players. But Quade is going to be the one to move on. But first, let's have a look at some of these stats. Ooh. Yeah, both of these guys have less inputs per minute than that puff. <laughs> I don't understand. TD is a monster, bro. TD, TD, the most technical Jigglypuff I've ever seen. But look how close they are. Damage per opening, average kill percent. Um, it really... So they yeah, they did use really twice. Use twice. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Yes, they... Because there was also... There was the one that fell apart on Yoshi's. But... Yeah, Jammy won the first I guess, I guess uh, were, game on Yoshi's, and I then the second one was Wonky, and then Quade won when they yeah, went yeah, back. Two and three were both Yoshi's. Battlefield, mm -hmm. Yoshi's, Yoshi's, Fountain, Pokemon. All right, cool. So, yeah. Yeah, the average kill percent, exactly the same. Showing how it was neck and neck, and... Uh, Towards the end, it was just that those adjustments by Quade um, and Jamie, I think. Losing in key moments, there was that Phantom Shine in Game 5, not being able to get down from platforms on Fountain of Dreams. Um, so just some key decisions, uh, bad chances I that, with I uh, Game that, uh, I love that Jamie's most common neutral opener is just laser. <laughs> the classic like, is what you got to sure. do. <laughs> Quade just uses bear. <laughs> 24 bear openings that's it's a lot of back air beautiful and he's gonna need them versus puff or i mean that he's going so to see a lot good. of them versus puff it's so good spacey back air is just an insane move falcos is a bit better because his, his, his legs are just a tad longer but foxes are not to be underestimated at all well, see, but fox, fox moves is actually a little bit faster True, true. Uh, so and you, ha you have that full him. hop uh, auto kit or yeah, full hop auto cancels. I'm pretty sure for Fox, where short hop does for Falco. Why? Why? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Guys, they may have already started their game one. <sighs> So we love tournaments. Yeah, Quade and Didi um, are just so so in touch with the game. I'm so looking forward to grants that they've um, possibly they left us out. <laughs> left us out of the party. They they might have forgotten about stream. Maybe they didn't like our commentary. No, they loved it. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, send sleepy. us the sleepy files afterwards. We can <laughs> commentate in, in retrospect. Great, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to using these sets more in the future. Oh, they already finished game one, DD1. All right, DD1, game one. Oh, uh, really finish. quick game. <laughs> Oh. I'm, I'm guessing it was a. I think it was a two stock. Okay. Three okay. rests. Are you guessing, or do you already know the stats? Because I'm willing to. Oh, I have no idea. I wager three <laughs> stocks and three rests. Okay. Wait, is there any way for us to figure that out? Or <laughs> no, we'll, we'll never know. <laughs> a pointless wager, my bad. <laughs> but. Hopefully we'll get the feed for this next one, but it looks like DD didn't lose any of their rhythm from from earlier in the night. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah. Even after That's, a pretty long wait. That is fast. All right. Hopefully hmm. we're getting the broadcast up right now. Quadi was probably feeling himself too after that reverse three zero. Oh yeah, he's got tons of momentum, but 
They didn't know that they weren't broadcasting. They just didn't think about it. They thought the people could see. We could have missed the most legendary slippy set uh, ever. But, but it's coming course, in soon. Count the results of that game. So uh, hopefully, as we should. Actually. Okay, we're we should be back in business. All we're right. back. In Getting business. to it, and we are in grand finals of intercollegiate slippy winter twenty twenty weekly number one on December. 11th at 10 26 we, and we 34 could, seconds p.m it's it's, <laughs> it's a very it's a very catchy name yeah and there's many more weeklies to come this is just a chill one following the metagame documentary shout outs to the metagame shout outs to always sam shout outs. Out to the me- always shout outs to sam outs. Mm-hmm. shout outs to I slippy so shout outs to, to fizzy yo we we stand on the shoulders of, of titans truly we do. By which we mean cool people. Mm-hmm. Man, I, I gotta be honest. Be just getting right into it. Oh, yeah. So. Game two? Oh, I was just saying, Sam Ox. After so many years. Oh! I can't even think. <sighs> it might have been four rest think... last game. <laughs> <laughs> With how it looks. Oh, God. Ah, uh, this is just... DD's just running quad A. Just, just get over see. here. That grab. Terrifying. This is a very fast puff, fast paced puff. Mm-hmm. Which I suppose is the 590 APM. Coming in clutch. Yeah, I'm watching his controller inputs. He's he's gotta go in and take. It's, just, it's, all it's, over it's a lot of direction. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of which tells you about his microspace. Yeah. Right. Precision. Which is so important for puff. Absolutely. Your aerial microspacing is the difference between being, you know, puff being good and puff being terrible. Yeah, just watching the game, it kind of looks like, you know, it's it's Fox oh, with these metal feet. The was so good. Yeah. He had the read, he just didn't react to it. Lance catches the forward smash. Yeah. That's one stock for Quade, but Didi looking like he just wants to go. I mean, I was gonna say he wants to go home, but he's already. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go to bed. Yeah. Um, play unranked. I don't know. Damn. Yeah. It, it was almost like he gave that one to Quade. He was like, "All right, you can have one stock. You don't right. have to have four stocks." Just to feel you. better. Just to feel better. <laughs> I'll give you one, buddy. Yeah, but the next one. In front of the people. But, uh. Yeah. Man, this is the only time I'll ever hear something mad in my ear that someone's at 68%. <laughs> Just I like 68% range. even more than 69 Good. Me too, you know? Yeah. Because it makes you angry, Lucky. <laughs> That's why That's we're right. why. <laughs> Something about 68 is the potential for 69 to come, but knowing that it probably won't, unless there's like a, a laser, a stale okay, jab. A stale laser. One right? It's like something that was almost there, but it didn't quite happen. But anyway, back to the game. Uh, Wade is dead. Never mind. Not back to the game. Back to not talking about the game. I was I was saying somewhere in the middle. I feel like, on the one hand, Puff is frustrating because you are this robotic animal. It's you know been genetically engineered. You've got these metal feet that can kick so hard. You've got a gun, and you're fighting against a balloon, right? And the balloon is controlling the pace of the match. Yeah, you just have to respect this balloon you have that to sings the and has as a cute a, as like, a, voice. As an, as an as a as a as a universally acclaimed starship pilot, you, you have to respect the small pink balloon. Your greatest foe yet. It's absurd, but beautiful at the same time. There's a jigglypuff in in French is Ron Dudu. 
And I feel like that's much more appropriate. Now. That's so funny. <laughs> the French know what's up. Also, he just he just ran off and died. Rip to the. Yeah, he. I think he's got the confidence that he can just make it back. I don't know what his game plan is, but it's <laughs> working, so I'm not going to question it. Everything is intentional. That SD was to to not quad off his game. Uh, I don't know if it worked, <laughs> um, but maybe that was to knock him off his game too. Oh, straight to knock. That's just the tournament winner. Which it it, it 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 looks like you read a tournament winner, which is almost always a misinput. Which is insane. <laughs> yeah, he knows what level of melee we're at here. There's no, some he's just saying you Ooh. Jab reset. Breathless. No lucky. I will not mention that he killed him in 69. I wouldn't do such a thing. I would never. Both of them so close. You can see that their game plans are like clashing at the moment. And Didi is like bearing over and Laquati is still in the middle of that dash dance. Ooh. I'll make it back. Unless you Caught him with both of them. Both of them were a little risky too. I think the second one was more safe, but well done. We were talking about the, the We were talking about the strength of Fox's back airs, but Puff's showing that their back airs were king. You know, Puff's is okay too. Just okay. Just alright. Just like you know? three times like, the size of Puff like, and Fox. Like middle of the game at best. Like, like mid tier back air. Maybe high mid tier. Right? Just like look at how small the feet are. It's not that big. Yeah, exactly. It's so thin. How are you ever right? gonna hit anything? See, see? Didi missed that one. It's not a good move. Oop. I don't think oh. Lucky's watching the game. I think he's just watching the percent meters. <laughs> Lucky's, a, Lucky's the numbers guy. He's paying attention to the stats. My day is just playing so safe right now. He does not want Ooh. to trade here. And he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's that. Didi had had enough, no. enough patience. We're going for it. And quad A. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like right Didi's there playing board. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's, it's like he is... He, he, he's... It, it, the way he's playing, he seems like the type of player to complain about plot, to complain about how lame Puff is. You know, Didi is, even though he's the Puff main. Yeah, <laughs> he's just, like, oh, another you know back here. <laughs> I have to do like, another one. Like live salty tweeting his own tournaments. <laughs> like I'm he, winning in my favorite game. Green, green blob. Can we remove the green blob? <laughs> the cube is nice, but oof. I thought it was myself for a second again, but... Ooh. Here's the thing, right? That again? last game... Is it gonna happen again? Like, ...you do with playing serious. Um, mm -hmm. So we might actually see some serious play now. Yeah. <laughs> right, he, it was so close, but he also SD'd the first stock. Um, and yeah. kind of just had, like, reckless kind of aggression for that last bear. <laughs> And here, this, you know, this is his house. Oh, that upper would been so nice. Trades, but gets a really weak hitbox. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In them wanting to face each other, They're going for back airs, so up much. tilts. Yeah. They just. One approaches and the other one just swings and they, they both hit each other. Guess the upshot fell off the top. Don't dream up, that's crazy. Why is Puff living that long? And there's the back here. Should clean it up. 
Grab the ledge. Yep. Throw some another back air for good measure. Grabbing ledge is such a powerful option. Man, it's almost like people should do it. <laughs> Shout out to Lucky. And there's that moment again. Today. Lucky has two passions, and they are 69 and grabbing the ledge. <laughs> That's all you need. Racking and Friendlies are two different. Oh, they're, they're two different games. Nice with that dash attack, but wasn't able to quite finish it off. Diddy, he's playing. I mean, he's still aggressive. This is an aggressive Diddy. But he, yeah. he is slowing it down this game, the last games. Just dipping down to say hi. What's up? How's death treating you? Oh, uh, we'll do it. Ooh. I thought that might not do it. The first record in a while. Crazy. And he wished the, <laughs> the up smash, hits the next one. Hits him with the up air, okay. Body making it closer. Yeah, I mean, he's Lasers. definitely still in this, but did he... No! He just, he just he can't go for it more than once. He is playing the safe game. Just rolls mm -hmm. away, gets out of there. Definitely feel like Dee, Dee now has a, uh, a, a, a hint, knowledge oh, of what Quade wants to do. So huge. He's just he's just running running up back air, just guessing what Hades gonna be. In, throws it back air. Now he's starting to predict him. I feel like earlier in their neutral, their game plans were he grinding. But right, he, exactly. He has the download at this point. I like the up smash out of shield there. Ooh! Guess Catches the up him. Smash, up air. But that's 126 on a fox. Last that's, stop. This is one forward air, one back air, and this is over. Oh. <laughs> it's over. One back air. <laughs> Congrats to Didi. Wow. Yeah, he tore through this right here. Mm hmm. There's man. levels to this, man. Oh, so many levels. All right, we don't have stats for games one. What about three games? Do three games of stats. Yeah, so we'll get, you know, two-thirds or... Yeah, two-thirds of the stats we need. We're not... So two-thirds of have game one, the stats. We have, we have... Yeah. Oh, we only have two of the games. Okay. That's all right. We might actually be getting the third. Still a good indicator. But anyway, um, from these stats, we see our input per minute still so high on DD. Yeah. Why? Why? Where are they all going? It's all in the control stick, man. It's and and we both noticed. Stick. Yeah. yeah. He's kind of going crazy in the air. Um. Yeah, I see. I, I just, you know, these tell a bit of a story, but really the matches themselves tell much more of a story. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the it's not the stats. It's the the heart, the actual interactions, the conversation yeah. between the two players, the meat. But uh, I don't know. Uh, that's it for the bracket for tonight. Uh, I don't know if Lucky has any announcements he wants to make, but. I think that's it for the stream. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Always a pleasure to be here. I'm Curry. You can you can catch me on Twitter at Curry001 underscore. If you I am. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Clean Water. I'm one of the founders of Intercollegiate Slippy. Lucky will come in with our official closer, but it was a pleasure commentating. I don't have a Twitter. Uh, you can catch me on the Intercollegiate Slippy Twitter. Um, but otherwise, I'm more of a Facebook Which, by Insta the way, guy. you should follow. Yes, follow us on Twitter. Uh, join our Discord if you aren't in already. Uh, we've got a growing community uh, that's popped up just yeah. you know, out of this hashtag free melee movement, you know? This is, it, it's, and I, I really think 
the documentary, we might be going into, we've already had the gold age. We've had the platinum age, the, the diamond age, maybe. The diamond age, whatever yeah, this age is. <laughs> an age. The slippy We're age. Coming into an age. The virtual age. The toad age. <laughs> That's a good one. It's perfect. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Uh, and catch us. We'll be we'll be uh, hosting Metagame tomorrow if you want a more relaxed chat because that one kind of went crazy. But otherwise, um, stick around uh, for Lucky's closing. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Lucky Luxtruck 9 Lie here. Just give a quick announcement uh, of intercollegiate slippy events. So tomorrow we are looking forward to having some individual crew battles. I believe we're going to see two Pennsylvania schools, uh, most likely Penn State University and Carnegie Mellon. We did not get to see Carnegie Mellon compete in our bracket last time, so it should be somewhat interesting. If we do not get enough signups, we will indeed have some regional based things. And because we have enough Pennsylvania players, we might have Pennsylvania versus the rest of the country, which could be an interesting matchup. Right, let's Pennsylvania versus the world. I mean, but I wish they counted their votes faster, maybe. Huh? <laughs> but that's, uh, anyway, so that's the plan for the rest of this weekend. We are planning to have, once again have a big crew battle if possible. We need to get people, make sure that everyone's finished with their finals. Um, hopefully next weekend, so that's going to be the weekend of December 18th to the 20th. We're hopefully going to have another bracket. Hopefully it will be as big as the one we had last week. This week's a little bit more chill. We don't want to have crew battles every week such that it's like a large event. But please do tune in. If you have not followed us on Twitter already, the Twitter is in the chat. We also have our Discord there, so please do join us. Uh, it is really great if you want. We can make this community bigger. It's a great place to find friendlies. It's a great place to find your school should you be having trouble finding your melee scene because we're doing such outreach to the local groups that sometimes schools that don't yet have a melee club are actually meeting up in our Discord to communicate with each other. So please, please, please tune in. Once again, big shout outs to everyone who participated today. Congratulations to Didi for getting first place with Jigglypuff, only dropping two games the entire tournament, one to Quade and then one to Jammy. Shout outs to Quade for getting second place with a great performance and a really close set with Jammy who get who got third. Uh, we will hopefully be doing more of this slippy stat stuff. We really hope you enjoyed it. I uh, want to give huge shout outs to the creator uh, who, who made this. I believe their name is Vince. I totally forget their last name. Oh, author. I can read this right now. It's Vince A uh, Owl. Um, you can find them at underscore Vince AU on Twitter. Uh, they created the slippy stat generator. I will quickly post this link in the chat if you are ever interested in doing your own slippy stat work. You can just drag and drop your SLP files into it. And it will automatically generate the averages, show the stages, show times, and characters. So I really recommend you check it out. Uh, please do tune in again to our stream. We will be hopefully be having more stream events, even if we're not doing crew battles. January might be a little bit empty in terms of events, but we will try and fill that schedule as much as possible, although I will not be available for the majority of January. Uh, off skiing. Anyway, thank you so much once again for tuning in. We really appreciate your viewership and your time. Have a great evening. And don't forget to watch Metagame tomorrow for episodes, I believe it is 6 through 9? Am I getting that? Or, uh, sorry, maybe is it uh, like... 4 through four through 6. Oh, sorry, 4 through 6. Yeah. My bad, my bad, yeah. You're just four through obsessed six. with... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yes, please do tune into that. It's amazing, alright? Alright, thank you everyone. Have a good night.